Hi, hello everyone. We are live. Hello. Hi. What's up, homies and friends? Whoops, doodle. It is, is it just hot. is it is it just yep. us in the chat? No. Oh no, there's Beck. There, there's Beck. <laughs> and and Scott. Jersey gets around. Or. I didn't I mean, mean like that. Jersey. <laughs> We have we have a reputation. We're we're known we're known as a virile people. Oh god. Are you? Hey Val. Aren't we? I don't know. <laughs> we're known we're known for getting nasty. Oh lord. Wait, what is the order of every who's gonna be the order of how we go? Ooh, well, that's really going to depend on how we feel. Yeah, how do you feel tonight, Steph? I feel who's fine. feeling? Who's feeling real good about their costume? I'm not feeling great. <laughs> I feel. I feel all right. I I feel typecast. Oh well, that you're going first then. <laughs> all right. Well, that makes me think that you well, two that are. Well, that makes us. Yes. Yeah, that makes all me right. think you two are fucking couple costuming again. Mm-hmm. Which just fe f feels like cheating. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you automatically have the advantage of like, uh, um, like having a partner. Okay, uh, spoiler uh, alert: we're not necessarily we're not like. Oh God, we're not necessarily connected at all. It's just ha, like, this could be a funny thing, but but I am my own thing. <laughs> Do your do your costumes have any correlation with each other? No. no. Completely different. Yeah, completely different. Yep. Okay. Well, then go first. Two entirely okay. different genres. Okay. <laughs> we'll have a hard time believing you. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, let me let me roll in. Okay. Uh, as uh, if you're just joining us, you know it's Halloween. You know we are uh, some Halloweeny people. It's our spooky jam. Halloween. It is week three of October, so of course on the League of Ridiculous Conversations in October, we have a different costume every week, with the exception of Steph and Jordan, because their plans force them together. None of us know what each other is wearing, so this is a surprise to each other, as well as you, the audience. So, without further ado, the cheaters, Jordan and Steph, going first. <laughs> wow. Cheaters, wow. Damn. Tell us how you really feel. Uh, All right, here we amazing go. Amazing human beings, and I'm just jealous. Yeah. Just, just a blank screen. Yeah. In three, two, oh, okay. Thank goodness. one. Oh, shit. You got some kind of like I'm video grapes. Meetups? God. Oh god, I'm grapes. Steph is grapes, and I'm an yeah. anime girl. Okay. Any, any specific anime girl, or just oh, yeah. an anime I'm, girl? I'm, I'm Chika Fujiwara from uh, Kaguya Sama God, Love is War. Kazu type. Uh, oh. if, if you ever like do any cheers on my personal stream, you will see Chica pop up and do a little dance. And would you great. like oh. to re would you like to reenact said dance in front of the fruit not, of the loom there? Not, I not would, at all. I would like, uh, yeah, I, I think we should see that just so we all have an idea, uh, of, of what kind of character you're portraying. Steph, are you going to have to hold those in front of you the whole night? I mean, I stuck some of them on me, but. You know, for now, you don't, I'm you don't all stay. No, not all of them. I'm just holding them. I'm oh, holding Steph. them exactly like this. Oh, Steph. <laughs> oh, when you get tired, you can, you can, you can. Oh, you have six <laughs> boobs. Yes. Oh, uh, well, there you go. And here's my, here's my little leaf headband. Yeah, I do <laughs> like the leaf headband. Thank you. That yeah. is actually is falling, super, but it's okay. super cute. That Thanks. is actually super cute. I had it's a very... cheeks, and then they looked hideous, so I took them off. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you can kind of see the glow, but they were like big, obnoxious, hot pink cheeks, and I couldn't get it off my finger. So I was like, nope, this has to go off. I Jordan, don't want these you... on my face. Jordan, yes. you look miserable. You okay? Oh, no, it's, it's hot. It, it, it's very hot, and chat's broken okay. right now, so I'm trying to get that. Yeah, fixed. it's like in the oh, okay. 80s still. Down, yeah, down here. it was it. Yeah, it was hot. It was warm up here today. Anthony, you want to go or you want me to go? Uh, you go ahead and go. I All feel right. very, very insecure. 
This is this is this is not this looked better in my mind. I'm a scarecrow. Oh, that was good. What are you talking about? That's great. Good job. Yeah, that hat looks, looks good. good. Humble ass mother. You, 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 you got all the, the, the you got the creepy dangly fingers. I got creepy dangly Ooh. fingers. Yeah. How I got a noose. Fun. Oh. Ooh, look at she you is like hanging a scarecrow, out. Scarecrow, scarecrow. I'm not Batman, scarecrow. I'm just a scarecrow. But my face like looks very scary. frightening. Yeah. Why? Yeah, but why the noose, saying, though? I'm not Concord uh, grapes. I'm... If I lift the hat, I look like I melted person. So we'll just continue. Oh, it. you know what? I legit thought you were looking away from the camera this whole time. No, until no. you lifted it, I found the eye holes. Yes. <laughs> like, oh no, you're looking right, right down the barrel. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a crow um, sitting on my shoulder, and as I was sitting here. It snapped off and flew across the room, and I oh couldn't God. pick it up because I was attached headphone wise and these gloves. I can't do a goddamn thing with them. So I was like, "Well, you know what? I, I'm a crow list now. So that's fine." That's fine. I'm I'm a, I'm a little familiar. I, I had a similar costume years back, and I remember the the plight of those gloves. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come on, buddy. Bring All it right. Home. Uh, bringing it back, way back, about back twenty years time. back. Right, did you come as crisscross? Some of, it's like 30 years, bro. <laughs> That's like more than 30 years, maybe. Yeah, yeah that was my uh, junior high. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back to some of y'all's childhood. Uh, my teenage years. Like uh, a character very likely canceled these days. Uh, but nonetheless, I am... Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Jesus oh my Christ. god. I love it. It's you, great. You, you, look, you look more like Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho. This is a fun one. We need a Do we want to talk him. about uh, uh, costume difficulties? Because I'll tell you, I am officially bad at wigs. Is, like is wigs. that a Johnny Bravo wig? It's not. Oh, okay. It's, it's more what? like a, a Japanese delinquent wig. <laughs> Uh, you want to hear the story about uh, this week's wig debacle? Absolutely. Sure. You sure. always have a wig issue. Also, Anthony, can you send the code that comes in? Oh, yeah. In chat. Not not this Whoa. chat, but in our private oh. chat. Our chat? Gosh darn it. I put it in the wrong password. Um, Is it a vanilla mean... ice wig? Yeah, what'd you look for specifically? <laughs> for that? All right. Are you talking about the, the Twitch uh, code that I usually? There it is. Yes. Yeah, yep. thank you. Sorry, handling business for a second. Whoa, mama. Yeah, uh, he would definitely be canceled these days. Definitely canceled. I mean, he's the Pepe oh, Le Pew yeah. of the 90s. Yeah. That's true. I yeah. can see that. There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the Pepe Le Pew of the 90s, a... Uh, uh, the only... The only thing that kind of gets him any grace is that he never like successfully manages to like date a woman that he is harassing so it does not show like payoff or um oh, or like <laughs> success of being a uh a, a, a terrible um sexual harasser yeah thank you scott cashing some points making us drink things I just um, say, yeah. I love these. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bought those mechanical ones Ooh. just to have. Had oh, no plans for a costume. Those. Just really wanted them. <laughs> I was looking at those. So I needed a uh, blonde pompadour wig. Yes. That, that, is, that is the key. Uh, there is a Johnny Bravo costume out there um, that like is at least like 50 bucks. But I'm like, wait. I have everything but the wig, so I don't need to buy all that. So uh, at first, uh, I very stupidly bought a black wig because I wasn't thinking and was just doing Johnny Bravo for memory and only remembered the pompadour and the Elvis thing. So I have a black wig uh, with a giant pompadour, which would have been great. Mm. Okay, good chat. You uh, should have come as stream. Johnny Elvis. 
I mean, that's, uh, that's I mean, what he is, though. Yeah, he's basically. <laughs> I'm just trying to help him out by using that black wig next year. <laughs> well, I tried. Uh, so then we have the. Um, then I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking around. I'm trying to find a blonde wig with like some lift, some some accentuation going on uh, in the frontal region. And there is a fuck. I forgot what it's called, but it's like '90s, um, like ice cold white rapper. Yeah, or yeah, like <laughs> '90s white rapper. Maybe that might be actually be it. So this is a straight up vanilla ice wig. And I'm like, okay, this is closer. I'm gonna buy the yellow, the yellow hairspray, mm. uh, and I'm gonna try that first. I'll try it on the blonde wig. See if that or the black wig. See if that works out because that's got the right everything yeah it doesn't work um i spray i spray some on i'm like this clearly will not uh will not happen uh i should have gotten um spray paint so i'm like okay well i still have this vanilla ice wig i'll put it on there then it doesn't stick because it's not hair yeah. i guess so as I spray it, I just see it like beating up on the surface <laughs> <laughs> and I can't even yeah. like try and like rub it in or anything because it just rubs right off. Uh, so like I managed to tint it a little bit to be um, lighter than it was before, but nonetheless, uh, my third wig fail in a row, I think now. Um, yeah, the wigs are not fun. <laughs> not fun. It is super warm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're sweating. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> you're, making sweat. It, you're making it work down there, though, bud. <laughs> you're looking good. Doing my best. Yeah. Uh, Jackie, there were no other wigs. There are no blonde pompadour wigs out there. <laughs> There's there's the Johnny Bravo costume which like has some kind of foam type headpiece, mm. which is super cartoonish, um, and like is exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But I didn't want to I didn't want to like buy all that shit. This is supposed to be my other cheap costume. Uh, I wasn't supposed to spend money on this one. Yeah, but it looks fine though. Yeah, it looks cool. That's I why I trained. started with the actual image of Johnny Bravo. So you can literally see what I'm about to do because Put them otherwise, <laughs> yeah. well, that's also a problem uh, because the um, the hair picks up on the chroma scale. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So it's a little like spotty and, yeah. and ethereal. So <laughs> black fair. is the only one that uh, black background is the only background that doesn't um, fuck with it. Look, Johnny Bravo would have a black background. I mean, Woody. Johnny Bravo would probably have like just some like uh, '90s beer commercial girls washing a car in the background. There's like a snake. boobs. Yeah. Um, but what turned out to be a cheap costume turned out into two wigs, so I should have just bought the fucking costume in the first place. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> womp That's... womp. So yep. Yeah. I guess I got there. I'm like the wish version of Johnny Bravo. Aww. I'm Harold oh. Hooray. That's me. Is that a real Harold Ho Hooray. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what Because that Johnny means. Bravo. Now it's Harold Hooray. Uh, uh, got it. Yeah, got it. I thought that was pretty good for right off the top of my head. but No, no fair guess, enough. I'm just, I guess I'll know. just move on. My jokes have been flat this week. Eric I have Encore. straw for brain. <laughs> don't know. Oh, you're not an idiot. I didn't say I was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I said I had straw. For, I love this. Scott, Leland, you, all, all night you're tonight, the Leland's we have Johnny be... Bravo at home. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm a I hamburger did. on Wonder Bread. <laughs> like, for next week's costume, there was a moment where I was like, well, that thing i'm dressing up as sometimes has large hands maybe i can work one of those giant creepy things in. it was like no nah, man they, they they never did that on that show there's no reason for me to do that <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be Mickey Mouse. next week yes 
Yeah, the final. I'm coming as Dark Mickey. Dicky. The final. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming as Minnie. That's the trick. <laughs> Jordan, I thought you were the uh, the little girl from Spy Family at first. I wish. I wish. I, I, if I had the horns, I could basically be Anya. Because mm. she's so adorable. Uh, yeah, I, I, I blasted through the uh, dubbed amount that's on Hulu right now. Yeah, um, it's good. It's right? fun. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 fun. Like it's not the usual like heavy, actiony stuff that I usually go for. Yeah. But it, it's been endearing, and I, like it was so fucking popular when I was at that anime convention. I'm like, all right, I I I'll, I'll see what's up. And then the dub version came out, so that worked Chainsaw out well. Man. Not the dub version out yet, but everyone's so hot for it. I may I may try out the subs. Who chainsaw man? <laughs> Speaking of things from foreign countries that have subtitles, where's this? Has going? anyone have has anyone ever seen the um, Asian horror film House? No, no not yet. No. no. Damn it! Is is it about a very <laughs> smart doctor that diagnoses people, but he's kind of an asshole, but he has a heart of gold? No, because I understand that plot. I is still do not know extreme? what happened in this other movie. It was like seven Asian schoolgirls go to visit I'm an aunt at a house, and it's in the it's it's filmed in the eighties, so it's got all that wild eighties special effects, blue screen Jack and stuff. And then Jackie like, seems to know what's up. Uh, Japanese, yeah. Sorry if I said another. I don't know. I it, it was very hard for me to understand what was happening um it's not new it, it's like no it's for, it's like from like 85 or some nonsense like that it is wild so many things happen in a very small short time frame like the movie's only like 88 minutes long <laughs> and so much happens it's from <laughs> 1977 yeah I've oh my god wow. <laughs> i thought it was the 80s i have not seen this at all <laughs> It's a Japanese experimental comedy horror film directed and produced by Nobuhiko Obayashi. Okay. I think, honestly, I think all three of you would absolutely love it. Oh, it's on HBO um, Max. Oh, cool. I, I enjoyed it. it, but I do not know what happened. I'm down to <laughs> like, that. There's, there's like like floating body parts uh um a hair in a in a in a tub that comes to life like yeah a, a, a creepy doll of uh, it was a, a watermelon i don't know there's just so much happening in it Have <laughs> jackie oh jackie jackie uh, knows you, what it is yeah yeah can can you give a little insight there in chat uh or your specific insight uh into the movie uh try and like pitch it to us I mean, um, uh, Scott watched it too, and he kind of understood it better than I did. Oh, apparently you can't forget the bananas. <laughs> uh, it's oh yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Have there was thought, a weird. There was like a I've weird banana it. scene. Yeah. yeah. It's I've wild. You guys of... should totally watch it. <laughs> I've seen a little of Tokyo Gore Police, but um, yeah. I, I actually, you know what? I don't know if I have. I think there's an anime I keep thinking is Tokyo Gore Police, but it's not. So I'm not actually sure now that the more Bubble I think about prices, it. Bubblegum prices, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's got... Uh, does Tokyo okay. Gore Police have vampires? I remember seeing clips of this. I don't know if I watched it, though. But Yeah, there's a girl named Kung Fu. She was my favorite. Wow, that seems racist. No, all the characters have wild nicknames or their real names. There was, like, um, uh, f uh, Fantasy, um, Gorgeous... Kung Fu, yeah. Mac, Kung Fu. yeah, um, Melody, Sweet, Mel, yeah, Sweet Pea or Sweet something like that. Just sweet, sweet. just sweet. sweet. That was it. Yeah, Daddy Kogarashi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 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 wild. I honestly, I think you guys would really fun. get a kick out of seeing it, and I would also like to be able to talk to someone else about it. Because me and Scott were like, what? what? <laughs> we'll watch it. We'll respond back. I, I, I like I like this 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 line that Jackie uses. I feel it's a good way to kind of pitch something. Uh, think of it as Amityville House uh, was in Japan. I'm like, you know what? Japan to an extent. An Amity, an She's not wrong. Horror house. That's that's something I can I can kind of conceptualize and, and get behind. 
Yeah, I'm down. I'm but down with teenage this. Japanese schoolgirls. So like Battle Royale, but in Amityville. I mean, they don't kill each other. Battle Royale Amityville. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll add that on my list. Right on. Uh, and then we watched that... Um, that new one on Netflix, which I told Anthony about last night, the Curse of Bridge Hollow with Marlon Wayans and the girl yeah. from Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Honestly, which, which from Stranger Things. Um, um, Erica, the sister. Oh, the D and D girl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so good. Yeah. Like hands down, probably one of the greatest Halloween movies I've seen in years. Oh, really? Like it's it's so simple. It's family fun. It's just a cursed town and all the decorations come to life, but they stay decorations. So like if it's a cat that's cut out of like styrofoam, it stays a cat that's made out of styrofoam oh. when, when, it, when it, it attacks gotcha. people. Is it a lot of um, practical effects? No, I, I mean, yes. There, I mean, the, the costumes, Mix. people wearing costumes, but I'll be honest, it's some of the best special effects I've seen in a, in a Netflix movie in quite a while. Right like, there's okay. some really legit good effects in it. It's a good movie. I laughed out loud several times. And honestly, Marlon Wayans has grown into being a good actor. Like, that's, that's, I'm, that's, I'm weird. Yeah. Like, honestly, he's the reason why I haven't, like, thought about watching it more. For, for I don't know. I don't understand why. I, I've seen the trailer for it because it forces you to watch it on Netflix. Yes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, like from that short piece, I'm like, oh, he's doing that thing that like black comedians do in movies written by white people. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Marlon Wayans, I liked you for like a week in 2006. <laughs> and I just don't feel that anymore. Well, I mean, the movie is not the fuck about him. I mean, he's in it a lot because it's a daughter dad team up movie yeah no yeah but by yeah. the way in, like a pit of me i can't imagine him being better than he was in rec room for oh that, and get this shit shocked me kelly Rowland plays the mom not only is she a pretty oh, good actress wow. but damn kelly Rowland can get it like yeah. she looks so good Someone mentioned kelly well i haven't Rowland. seen her since like yeah. i don't know since she's 10 dark, 15 years since like she's since, a text message on XL. yeah since dark meat yeah <laughs> it's a friday it's in freddy versus jason freddy mm. refers to her as dark meat at one point right <laughs> yes 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 he's got the best movies. line when he puts her the claws up her nose and rips it off and it's like got your nose uh, oh yeah i remember that now <laughs> I do remember that part. I fucking love that terrible ass movie. I do too. <laughs> I, I, Kelly I... Rowland in the um, the, the one about the people go to like some island, um, and then there's a guy with a hook. I know what you did last summer. Is Kelly in that? No, I think she would have been too young to be in those. No, that was Brandy. Shit, that was. Yeah. Brandy, Brandy was in part mm -hmm. two. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't think there was anybody of color in part one. They waited until part two to get some um, <laughs> color up in that cast. Uh, your, recommend, yeah. your recommendation, though, on that sounds sounds pretty good. I, I, I may give it a shot. I find myself this month um, oh, really enjoying no. yeah. really enjoying some of the um, like the, the, the Halloween specials like of my youth. Oh, yeah. I've, I've yeah. gone back and watched um a bunch of like the old looney tunes and merry melodies uh halloween episodes a lot of witch hazel stuff um watched beetlejuice um did hocus pocus too um but like kind of like going back to like stuff i would have watched not quite as a child but right in that like 10 to 13 kind of young anthony era um I, I find myself like having a real affinity for for that this month. And you watched uh, Werewolf by Night, right? And I did watch Werewolf by Night. Uh, did you guys watch I... Werewolf by Night yet? Not yet. Not yet. No. Oh, it's Jordan, cool. you are gonna love it. Yeah. It's it is very so cool. good. The Garfield Halloween special is sad as fuck, and I do not like it. <laughs> I've never seen it. 
Yeah, like someone dies in it, if I remember right. <laughs> what? I don't remember that at all. Oh. Well, if you want any Garfield horror stuff, just go to Reddit r slash I'm sorry, John. So found out yesterday, this is the first year in like, I don't know, 30 something, maybe even 30, 30 plus years that the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown will not air on a broadcast television. Oh, wow. Why is that? Because because you can stream it. No one give a fuck about it. So that's Fair. not true. Everyone still watches it. The numbers were up. They just don't put it on there anymore. Aww. He's with me. Um, Apple uh, is putting it free, so you don't have to buy the Apple service for yeah, two weeks. You can just go and watch it. Yeah. Who has cable anymore? Just to say, that's why they got. It was like no one has cable. It's streamable. Everyone who would want it. They bought it. Like, yeah. they don't need yeah. to. Yeah. Like, now at this point, I'm subscribed to so many fucking things. Like, I am like a hair away from getting Showtime now. Oh, don't do it. They got two shows I want to watch. What the one two I can't, shows? The one I can't remember. And power. the other one is. What? Also power. power no. Book two. <laughs> power, power, book two. No, <laughs> one of them I can't remember, but every time I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to watch that. Ah, shit, it's on Showtime. The other one I really want to see is Let the Right One In series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't started yet. I have not started that yet. But y'all got Showtime? No, 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 no. Okay. Mm also, um, no, no one responded to my thing about adding to my YouTube family plan, but whatever. Yeah. You I didn't ads. know what you meant by any of that information, it and I was like, "I'll just it talk gives to you, you on YouTube Saturday." YouTube Premium, so yes. you don't get ads on YouTube. You know when it says like you have to watch. You do not need to yell. I'll give you the extended scarecrow finger. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't watch YouTube enough to like really be concerned about it. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Okay, I, yeah. I'm constantly on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I watch a, so, I a lot of YouTubes. The, the YouTube the I am on are the videos that are sent by me. I have no. Regular YouTube watching. I guarantee you'll watch YouTube way more when you have premium and don't have to deal with ads. <laughs> ads don't bother me though. Like some people get so upset about ads, and like it's it's a little weird to me. Or oh, yeah, you also get music too. Yeah. I don't know if it's like uh, all right. I don't know exactly what the what the word I'm looking for is, but like to me. It's still better than like the three, four minute commercial breaks I used to deal with all the time as a kid. Like, commer I grew up with commercials, and granted, yeah. our age gap isn't that large. Oh yeah, no, I know. But I like, remember commercials. <laughs> other people, other people my age are also like, "Fuck no, I'll pay the extra, you know, ten dollars a month for no, uh, for no ads." And granted, I do have Hulu without ads. I pay extra for it, so I'm a little, maybe a little hypocritical. But in my defense, they play the same four ads all month. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah. YouTube but, like, does the same thing. I started uh -huh. saying commercials I didn't care for in the car. And I absolutely believe Just that to exist. I assume that might be the, the situation everywhere. But I don't watch YouTube enough for it to bother me. I pay for Hulu That's to not fair. show it to me. And then all the other ones are like the more premium, I'm maybe, so sorry, to <laughs> describe them. Um oh, yeah. So like, I I haven't I haven't jumped ship to join y'all as far as like fuck commercials they're the worst. I'm like, well, that's also the reason why shit is as cheap as it is. Yeah, hmm. true. It's but the reason the why time. YouTube is free otherwise. But at the same time, it's so inconvenient. I want to watch my I want to watch my video right now. I don't yeah. want to wait 30 seconds to watch the, the, like, the three-minute clip. Hey, do you want to see this trailer? Check it out real quick. No, no. Ad for a minute. Yeah, sometimes. no, no. There are sometimes three-minute ads for a three-minute video. So it's yeah. just like, that okay, is, cool. Ridiculous. Yes. Um, ads are getting before, bad everywhere. Yeah, before but you can get, skip them after the five seconds. Sometimes. Not always. Sometimes. Not always. And not hey, the, can, and, can someone take a photo? I can't control my fingers. Yeah, please. Chat, before before I get too <laughs> hypocritical, um, how long is the ads for them to watch the stream? Um, it's like when thirty you, seconds uh, or a minute. It's it's like a minute. It's like a minute. Yeah. All right. Which, on on the one hand, I get it. I, I you know I understand why we need ads. It's it's to pay for 
uh, everything uh, servers all these things and it's like a, it's it's i'm conflicted about it because on the one hand uh you ads need to be there for everything to work nowadays uh, cause that, yeah, they need, they need, these companies need to get revenue somehow. Uh, but I don't like the viewer experience when it comes to Twitch and ads. Like I, I have an R stream going in. I, I see whenever the ads pop up, it's usually just like the low, lower, like the lower third ads, which is fine. Um, at least but, it's not interrupt, interrupting the content. Yes. Like that's the, that's the main thing I'm, I'm watching out for, which we haven't had any of those, which is good. I hope we mm -hmm. don't get them, but um, yeah, I, like, I'd like to stay away from that. Yeah, but uh, like since we're affiliates now, like we we are um, more susceptible to getting more ads or ru or running ads ourselves. Um, Yo, we just got our first payout. Yes, I know. Thank you all. Thank you all so, so much. much. Y'all uh, are so cool. From the ads and the subscriptions of of all y'all. It's bearing through those 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 commercials that I assume are boring, J and your Jackie beautiful beautiful subscriptions. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah we probably you. owe Jackie about ten bucks. <laughs> thank you, um, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you for getting those pictures, uh, Jackie. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, but it's also like, if you are regular watching regularly watching streams and everything, and you can't sit through a three minute ad while I'm using the bathroom. I feel like you're not really there to watch me, you know? <laughs> I feel like you're not really on my side here. <laughs> you're, you're just there to like fill your own like void. Yeah. Ooh. It's a word not used often. Void? Void. void. Oh, I use void a lot. Yeah. In what context? Usually less happy context. Um, Actually, I spent. Uh, oh no! I said something vaguely depressing. Hang on. I spent almost all of Sunday actually on Twitch. Adjacently, yeah. I tuned into uh, Corm's um, stream, and then um, uh, and then went to like lurk mode. And Corm, you did like a morning stream. Yeah, she starts Everyone... one at 11 sometimes, yeah. or uh, earlier. Jackie, thank you so much for cheering. Thank you for cheering. Thank you, Jackie. And, and I Every... Just... Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Jordan. I just wanted to point out this comment from uh, Not Another Monday Show. <laughs> yeah, ads can be kind of rough, but nothing gets me through, a, through it more than a nice cold can of Coke, which is tasty and refreshing. Helps me get through all the annoying <laughs> things fed to me. <laughs> Coke, who we are not sponsored by. We are by. not sponsored by. <laughs> No, I watched, I put Corm on on Sunday mornings in the store um, just so I can have, um, she, she gets, you know, the views and stuff. Yeah. Um, I, that's it. That's my full story. I, I talked to her a little <laughs> bit this week. She didn't draw anything creepy and I was sad because I said, draw Aww. something creepy. <laughs> oh, that would have been cool. Um, but like Corm, who um, is a fantastic con content creator uh, on her own, and then is also super supportive of the communities that she's in, she raids. So she raids into the next one. Yeah. Yeah. That continued to go forward, and my computer was on from Corm all the way until somewhere around like 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm just yeah. like, all right, I'm just going to turn this off. It was at, it, it, it was at least two or three more because it was all art streams so i assume yeah. mm. i assume they just like kind of kept going and i was like i would look over to my computer i'm like oh my computer's still on because there's still a stream going yeah um and so i'm like all right well i'm counting as like a viewer and that feels good like every uh, like None of them seemed like super huge. So yeah. like every view counts. Every time we see a number above the one we were at five minutes ago, we feel good about it. So I'm like, oh, yep, fuck yeah. it. Like, it's not hurting me. I'll just let my computer run. Um, but yeah, a solid like eight or ten hours my computer was on just streaming <laughs> Twitch. Um, Corm, <laughs> I that. <laughs> uh, Corm, unfortunately, I don't know the other artists because I really just kind of let it run. Um it was all in a similar kind of um, uh, anime styled um, digital artwork. Yeah. yeah, I I let it run as well for my whole shift at the store. 
Mm-hmm. And I, I popped back on around like two because I was like, oh, that's right. Twitch is still up. And I looked over and there was this person with bright pink hair drawn people with bright pink hair. And I was like, I don't know what any of this is, but she has a lot of people watching. Good for her. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to I'm going to shut off now because I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking as a very small time streamer. I appreciate. I honestly thought you were going to say speaking as a small Asian girl with pink hair. <laughs> and I was going to be like, yes to all that statement. <laughs> like, I, I appreciate any random person that stops by the stream. The most of my followers came from other streamers just randomly rating me because they like seeing people playing Dark Souls or Bloodborne, stuff like that. And mm-hmm. honestly, every time it happens, I'm so appreciative. Thank you guys for stopping by. You don't have to stick around, but thank you for, for even being being around. Yeah. Uh yeah, Corm, you're you're absolutely right. Rating builds uh community. Yes, it does. Um and like the 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 handful of people, I mean, I follow almost nobody. Everyone I follow is in this fucking room. Yep. Um <laughs> but like I don't know, maybe maybe being a late show, um like we we usually don't raid after after our show. Uh not a whole lot of options. There's a buddy of mine I would love to raid, but he never does late shows. We yeah. end this at like nine to nine thirty, and that's kind of more or less it. It seems, at least yeah. from from my small corner of uh, of, of Twitch. I um, I was hoping that Stefan Jordan or Revai and um, Corm were on there a couple weekends ago because I was just bored at the store and I wanted to watch something, and no one was streaming that day. Aww. So I just put on some guy playing Jackbox and I just watched him for like 15 minutes. And I was like, this ain't fun when you're not in it. <laughs> watching other people, people play yeah. Jackbox? No, I was like, Jackbox this ain't fun always, if I'm not playing. Jackbox <laughs> always bumps our numbers, though. It does. Yeah. We yeah, I mean, have, we people might watch night. it. I just didn't enjoy it watching it because I, I didn't get the joke. But he was also just playing by himself with like oh, randoms no. online. I was like, well, oh, this is okay. weird. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could do that. But speaking of Jackbox, so number nine comes out this week. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. So, Steph. I'll grab it. Honey. So, we all community can buy it so that we can play it on Sunday. Sounds good. Yeah. We can do that. We got a little extra yeah. money in those LORC yeah. pockets. Uh, oh, maybe. You uh... Because you know what this weekend is? It's my weekend, and I want to play Jackbox on Sunday. <laughs> Sounds great. We'll do it. Wait, do we have weekends? Did we assign weekends? Yeah, we always. We... <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was Absolutely. said. It was said in August. Anthony, you had the birthday this week. What do you want to play tonight? And I was like, well, that means it's that's how it goes for me right now. I get it. We get yeah. to pick our birthday weekend. Yes. Yes. I, I mean, get you. At, 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 at the same time, Leland, you are you're basically the community day organizer. You usually, <laughs> you usually yeah, pick the yeah, games. Yeah. Am usually I? Always like, I not in a bad this. way. Yeah, it's not it, a bad it way. Just, it helps yeah. us like, okay, yes, this is our plan. Yeah. Look, me and my therapist actually talked about it today. I am that person that has to make sure everyone's having fun. Yeah, at my like expense and like that, i am and that's why you're the perfect community I'm just, day organizer <laughs> i was like everyone has to be fucking having a fucking good time i don't want to see any sadness enjoy <laughs> the day speaking of enjoying the days oh. you guys both looked fabulous over the weekend oh. how was the wedding trip <sighs> so much fun. surprisingly nothing went wrong yeah, yeah. Ooh, actually well, that's well good. Okay, the nice. only problem i had was a good problem i guess Oh yeah, because the weekend ended. Oh no! no what was, well, what no, happened like, to him? So no, no, no. no. He's so my dead. my dress. <laughs> oh yeah. I put it on, and it was too loose. So I <laughs> lost weight. Thing. Yay! But, but in the weirdest part, it looked too bulky, so they had to like sew the dress yes, tighter there, on me. There was, and some we had panic. to put a bunch of uh, safety pins. But, oh, you were just like Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Yeah. You were sewed into your outfit. I was really confused because I put it on and I was just like, they asked me, when's the last time you put it on? And I was like, last month. I didn't do anything to change anything. And I put it on and I was like, oh, oh no. Yeah, so that was the only problem, problem. But as always, food adventures were delicious. 
You know, uh, as I was getting my my hair done uh, a couple weeks ago, you know, for the wedding, did? Uh, your my hair, hair did. did. Uh, I, was, I was talking to my loctician Shane. And I was just like, so yeah, I'm going to this wedding, and I, I'm trying. Oh, we're not gonna to stop for a moment. Your what now? My loctician. A loctician. Is that is that what someone is called who takes care of dreadlocks? Yeah, clearly. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. I mean, he's oh my grapes. <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, Scott. It was a journey to get water. Okay, this is not easy. I can't look at my phone. I can't touch any of the computer things. He's forced to pay attention to the rest of us completely, and it is killing me. I'm sorry. And also, oh my grapes. So, okay, sorry, Jordan. I think that is an amazing title, and I wish that. Every, I, I hope he has it on his business card, because it should I mean, be. Uh, I, I know he has it on his just on his profile. And he, the master uh, loctician. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, anyway, so tell your yeah. story. You look so, great, so, by the way. Everyone uh, look great. Uh, I was telling him like you know you know I'm going to a wedding and I'm in the wedding party, but I don't want to look like the best guy there because I'm not I'm not the groom. He's like it's too late. Give the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus and that's how he keeps getting big tips. Yeah, and I, I remember he like he he put out like a Instagram video. And just like, you know, you know, you got a good haircut when you come in with a hat and then you leave forgetting the hat. Yeah. He, he showed his hat rack. There were so many hats there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Pretty awesome. That's right great. on. Yeah, yeah. Shane's, awesome. Shane's a cool dude. He, He's my my favorite dude that that ever did my hair. <laughs> you want to shout out like his social media or something? Yeah, it's uh, the the industry studio. I think underscore the industry studio. Right on. There you go. So where was the wedding at? It was at Ve it was in Vegas. It was in Las Vegas, Ooh. Nevada, at the Flamingo. Yeah. Ooh. Right yeah. on. It was Flamingo. Very pretty. Yeah, the Flame and Go, uh, and then the reception was at the MGM Grand. Where we were staying. So yeah. that how was, was that? Nice. nice. Really nice. Super Yeah, super right on. Yeah. 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 Really, really Do nice. Do they still have the lions? No. Mm. Are all the lions what? gone? Like live the, lions? The, they have the, the tigers giant, are gone too. They have the giant like statues. Lion statue outside. Yeah, they're all lion but statues. that's all they no, got. No live okay, okay. No live well, animals. Well no, they used to have live lions there because yes, I took a yes. picture with one once. Word? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember oh, at the shit. beginning of like any MGM movie where they have the line roar? That, no. That's yeah, that's why. I knew that. <laughs> that's right. But um, I didn't know the, they had live lions out there on the fucking casino floor. Yeah. Well, I mean, they had a cage. Um, yeah. uh, the, and they got rid of the, the tigers too over at the Mirage. They now have dolphins, which they're now going to have to get rid of the dolphins. So, well, yeah, they're going to the have to get rid of The flamingo still has flamingos. Well, that's yeah, that's good yeah. at least. And ducks. Yeah. Also, the flamingo doesn't that isn't their big claim to fame right now. They have the RuPaul show. <laughs> they do have the RuPaul show. Yeah, that's what store. I thought. Yeah. They have a yeah. RuPaul store. We walked by it several times. I want to go in a RuPaul store. Well, we will in February when, yeah. when LORC does Vegas. Yeah, oh, LORC yeah. goes to Vegas. I'm excited. It's, it's going to be our first movie. I love it. I'm really <laughs> oh, <excited>. Finally. <laughs> Yeah, where did we go? Uh, like, our first... God, I want to know what that movie is. Our first meal was delicious. We went to what was International it? Smoke. Yes, International Smoke. At the Smoke. MGM. It's wonderful. And we had these, oh. like, pork belly... Why, why is... Mm. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue themed or weed themed? Barbecue, barbecue themed. Barbecue themed. Just checking. <laughs> International Smoke. Could have gone both ways. Could have, yeah. True. So they had these, like, pork belly bows. Oh. Ooh. Oh. So good. The soft texture of the bun on the outside with this mm, crunch of crispy pork belly yeah. was so fucking good. <laughs> it was delicious. It was very right crispy. On. We ended, and then uh, on Sunday, we went to, was it Sunday? We went to Momofuku? Uh, no, that was on, yes, it was What Sunday. did you oh, yeah, call yes. me? Sunday, we went to Momofuku. In uh in the, the Cosmo, yeah, and we got another thing of pork belly buns. Also really good. But this was a more super tender pork belly bite. Yeah. Versus the crispy pork belly bite that was crispy like bacon. Yes. Either way, both of them were delicious. 
Yeah, yeah but how about them buns? buns? The buns were, the buns yeah. were so, yeah. so soft and warm. Yeah. Um, Everyone looked really pretty in the photographs. Oh, so thank you. Yeah. yeah. We got makeup done. Makeup was real quick. Some yeah. lady came and she put makeup on us and we were all just kind of talking with them. And I was running back and forth getting Starbucks for everyone. Yeah, and then Jordan was doing the, the Starbucks coffee run for us, which was really uh, um, Are they on their honeymoon right now? No, not yet. Oh, they're okay. Going, is it they're next going. Week? They're going, I think, yeah. Where are they it's going? Next week. Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, right on. Ooh, there yeah. you go. Nice. I could be wrong. I want to say Maui, but I'm not sure. I, 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 I just know I'm they're going to Hawaii. Yeah. They're yeah. going to an island that is tropical in the Pacific. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to have a it sounds super fun. well-deserved uh, uh, vacation. Yeah. <laughs> right on. We went. Okay, so one um, Thursday night when we got in, we went to go eat. And then after we yes. went to the place where they get... Um, uh, what is it? Their marriage license? Yes. And that was interesting. So it's like near downtown Vegas. It's in downtown Vegas. It's downtown Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. And it looks no different than like a DMV. It, it's literally just a DMV. Yeah, it looks like a DMV <laughs> room. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's they have a, it's all these administrative government building. Mm -hmm. yep. I've, yeah. I've done that before for people, been like a witness and shit. Yeah. 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 It just looked interesting because we got there and then like. There's like a big mural on the outside that said wedding. Yeah. And then they had all those little like like sticker things on the like on the outside aligning for like where people should stand because of um public or what is it, social distancing oh, and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. But it was just funny at how long that thing went. So I just imagine people just in line to get their like marriage license. Luckily we got there like, I don't know, seven or eight because it doesn't close until midnight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's Vegas. Uh, Vegas. Yeah, it's yeah, Vegas. Vegas. They're like, that's crazy. They're yeah. like, oh, wait, Vegas. It's Vegas. Yeah. But we went in there, and then obviously I thought I could stand closer, but they make all the guests and visitors stand on the other side of the line, so we were just kind of watching. So there's no confusing who's getting married. Yeah. <laughs> you got to wait just, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just interesting watching some of the people come in that look so super wrecked? drunk and wrecked yeah. and they're about to make a decision like we like after roseanne came back i was watching this couple and like the guy comes in solo at first security guard asks him you know if they're gonna get married and where the other person is and he just goes oh she's outside having a smoke and then <laughs> she came in and like he goes oh are awesome. y'all getting married nice. today Right? Yeah. Like, are you guys yeah. getting married today? And then he goes, did you fill out the online application? See, it's very DMV-like. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, did you did he fill out the online application? No. And then <laughs> the guy goes, okay, well, you need to use that computer over there and fill out the application. Just use the computer behind you. She's like, where? And she goes, where? <laughs> and then he goes, the computer right behind. <laughs> she turns around. Bitch, I just told you where. <laughs> I was just watching them. And it was just like questions that came up. She was just kind of like shaking her head at or just like just acting like how it was such an inconvenience to answer these questions. <laughs> oh, man, their marriage is going to be terrible. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yes. John they, the question down in front. Yes. Did they at least seem like drunkenly in love with each other? No, absolutely not. Oh, no. green card wedding. It just looked like. <laughs> She Aww. was like, you know what? Maybe this marriage will like give me advantages. And the guy was just like, I'm Oof. down for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get on that insurance and he's just trying to get up in them guts. It was well, uh, it's okay because I believe there's like a thing in Vegas weddings. You can do like quick divorces or annulments, oh, like wow, in, in the same kind of proceedings or something. Same it's the next room. Yeah, it's just the next room over. Aww. I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, wedding went great. Um, I cried several times. Sure did. I think of I even oh, when we were in the the I call it the the special room. I guess whatever room that the bride has to stay in. The so bridal that, room. The bridal. The bridal room. suite. Yeah, the bridal suite. suite yeah, yeah. That's the exact words. When I was in the bridal suite. We had this really, really nice officiant, or the min, min aficionado. aficionado. Yeah. <laughs> aficionado. She was really, really sweet. 
Like, she just asked the standard, like, oh, would you like to make this <laughs> religious or not? And then, of course, you know, yeah. And then she was just like, okay, well, do you have any vows? And then, and then she said, if you don't, like, I can make this, like, all about you guys. And, you know, yeah. just talk about stuff. She did a really good service. Like, hey, she was a nice it was lady. just a really, really nice service. But she was so, like, she talked, her voice was so soft and so calming. And she was just giving me directions and I was already crying. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, she was just That's like, what I need you to do. And she goes, so... Stephanie, you are the witness, so you need a sign right here. And I was like, okay. And she's just talking to me, and then all of a sudden, just tears. And then even when I was talking to her, she was just like, also, if you feel the need to cry, just let the tears fall. It's okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> the camera. Don't, don't, don't wipe them away. Just, yeah. let, just let them flow. So, like, on the part later on where we had a walk, like, obviously, I had absolutely no rhythm walking down the freaking aisle. And I just kept laughing like I normally do. And then, but Steph, we we've seen your dance moves. They're not we, great. <laughs> we, we've seen your rhythm. They're not. It's not that great. <laughs> yeah, no. But I was walking down, and then like as soon as you know they tell you to rise for the bride, basically. Roseanne didn't even make it around the corner yet, and I was already blubbering. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it was great. I did yeah, my speech and then I still cried. It was great. And then Roseanne's oh, mom. Oh, you got a speech? Oh yeah, I did a speech. It was really. It was, yeah. What 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 were like three highlights of the speech? Like what were? It's three actually things really you... quick. <laughs> okay, what are two highlights of your speech? Well, I introduced myself, of course, and then I talked about like one That's of my first memories between me and. Um, me and Roseanne, like when we first became our first. Wait, are you looking for it? Yeah. Oh, here. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it was. I just said that when we first met, we were trying out for unarmed drill team. And um, you have. There's like a command that happens where you have. It's called dress right, dress. And you literally have to like push your arm to touch shoulders with the other person, kind of push out basically to kind of keep space between you guys. And I specifically remembered, now she might remember it differently, but what I remember was a hand pushing me going, move. And I was like, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, our 18 years of friendship formed. <laughs> Aww. And then um, my favorite memory with Marco was when we were, when we went swimming and I remember we were just floating around and I looked over at Marco, and he was just kind of floating there with his eyes closed. Just vibing. Just, you know, just floating. And I was just like, oh, my God, he looks so relaxed. And then he goes, oh, no, the sunblock got in my eyes, and my eyes are burning. <laughs> 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 and then I just said, um, I said, me and Roseanne couldn't stop laughing for the life of us. Um, I love how when we hung out, you never made me feel like a third wheel around you two. And I very much enjoy all the shows we've binged for hours and how we would always take turns on who picks what we're, what we end up getting to eat that hangout. And then I said, you've always been such a patient and caring person for, for Roseanne, and that means the world to me. Also, thanks for introducing me to Ted Lasso. I can't wait to see what happens um, in the future. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how I ended it. But... It was right really on. fun. Yeah. Then Jordan did an impromptu speech. Yeah, because Roseanne's auntie... mom just threw me under the bus. Yeah. Like, Jordan wants to say something like, I do? <laughs> 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 yeah, no. It was it was all just really fun. And, um, yeah, it was a good time. The reception How was... that was... dance floor? It wasn't yeah, a dance dance floor, but oh. basically what it was was... Um, it was a suite at the MGM because it, it, it is like a very intimate, like, um, it's a very intimate party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the best part, too. Now, there wasn't a dance floor, but there was a point where we were all screaming our heads off to, uh, like, pop punk Yeah, like songs. Er, er, early aughts <laughs> pop punk. Like. Yeah. We were just playing, like, my Chemical just, like, Romance. like Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. Yeah. yeah. And we were just <laughs> screaming and just yelling on this rooftop. Like roof, 
rooftop Ooh, nice. with Balcony the type view thing. of yeah. the strip. It yeah. was it was wild. Yeah, so it was basically was like it, emo night back. <laughs> was it hot? No, no, no. it actually wasn't. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't at all. Even for the wedding, um, at one point it just got a little overcast. It got overcast and a little bit windy, and then it then, got windy. Yeah, but then went away like pretty quick. Yeah, but other than that, that like good. the weather was like the weather was good. Yeah, it, it that's was cool. Very good for right us. On. Yeah. Ooh, and then we went to a place called Baby Stacks. Baby Stacks, yeah. It's a pancake joint. joint. Yeah, yes. it's a yep. breakfast brunch joint, and then I got the Hawaiian Benedict. Mm. Ooh, it Delicious. looked good. I saw yeah. that picture. I was like, mm-hmm, yes. It was, Ooh, yes. It was so all two, that spam. Yeah, <laughs> two Hawaiian rolls <laughs> with spam, an egg, and then the, the gravy over it. And then my side, instead of potatoes, I got the ube pancakes. Oh, delicious. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, oh. Anthony, don't fuck with spam. I, I don't. Oh, I know like, you said I'll, you don't. I'll say it. I'll say it now, and I reserve the right to redact it later. But like, I would like somebody uh, well versed to take me to a place. Don't cook for me. Um, take me to a place that like <laughs> it well. Like you've got one shot. You've got one shot to sell me that spam is not gross. A spam masubi. Uh, I love I, spam masubi. What the fuck you just said? So much. Do you like it's the seaweed a, wrapper a for sushi, Anthony? He don't like sushi. He likes sushi. Shit. <laughs> Maybe you so like Anthony, soy it's paper. it's a it's a it's a rice patty with yeah, spam like, on like top, rice. all right, with seaweed wrapped on it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And you dip it in teriyaki sauce. It is yes, legit one of the greatest things in the world. So good. <laughs> I I would just. Ditch everything but the rice. And Do you? Dip the rice, <laughs> rice nugget in in soy sauce. <laughs> Do you? Do you not fuck with corned beef either? I am not a big corned beef fan. Oh my god, corned beef is so good. Oh my god, fuck off. You just don't like meat it's, pots hey, of meat. I you don't like I, potted I, meal. I am. I am. I am. I like. I love a roast beef. There's that's potted meat. I love a roast beef. It's a roast. Meat? A roast. A roast is good. I don't oh, like roast beef roast. sandwiches. I don't like roast beef like sliced and put on my my bread. I don't like it. Oh, something that about a, it. That's a sta that's a sandwich staple, and I will not have you besmirch the good yeah, name. I like ham and turkey. What if it's smothered in cheese like Arby's? Well, they that's Arby's. And that's not real roast beef anyway. So, like you know. <laughs> I mean, this I don't know true. what part of the cow it is, but it's decent. <laughs> Jackie, that is a brave fucking statement you just made. Ooh, the yeah, target, it is. The Target oh. Deli roast beef is so good. That Ooh, was no, like, wh oh, that's when, like, like your brand. You like your brand. <laughs> that's like when we found out Elizabeth really enjoys like the Seven Eleven meals. You're like, yeah, no, the Seven Eleven tuna <laughs> sandwich. Like, no. no, girl, no, huh. that can't be good for you. <laughs> You oh, classy, like you read, deli, you can't do that. Like the deli, like in the sleeve sandwiches. I've tried those. They're not bad. I yeah. Like, them. like, yeah. like the plastic, like tear away sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. gotten the ham and cheese one. I've, That's I've fine. I've plenty of those in my those day. She's a big fan of those. Oh. So, some of that has got me through college. <laughs> yeah, those are good. I like those. Um, The Good God, and Gather were, brand. Oh, Okay, The Good that, and Gather that, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that beef, that's a good yeah. brand. A brand. Cause that isn't that just Target's brand. I think so. I, I, I think like so. Generic brand, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't grocery shop at Target, so I, I really don't know their brands. Um, but no, I am to to whom whomever is willing to take up the challenge. If I am within your vicinity at the given time, I am willing to, and also reserve the right to redact my statement, to take me to some place. To get your one shot at yeah. selling me on spam. Well, That's really okay. Hard. What if we fuck in, it up? In, in so Vegas, if we go to this, up. if we go to this breakfast joint, I'll order it. Or Steph, we'll just give you a little, yeah. a piece of it, so you bite. can try it, and then you don't waste the money on a whole meal well, that me and Steph will have to eat anyway. Spam. Yeah. As, as, as long as I still get them ube pancakes, because that sounds fucking great. Oh, I don't delicious. like ube. I can't I, get I, it, it, it. Weird. I don't know. I don't like it. Wait, I love the what? idea of I need of, to of, find of out a ube feelings. pancake 
and then syrup, like the little kind of tartness that ube has, and then like the sweetness of syrup, like a oh. good ass maple syrup. I also don't enjoy. Um, I'll eat it, but I don't. It's not something I go after. What's the um, the red bean paste oh. in red uh, bean buns? Paste. Red, bean. red bean paste. Red bean. I don't. I don't really. It's fine. I'll eat it, but it's not my go-to when I want a bun. I'm just like, oh, because it still tastes like beans to me. Oh, okay. Even though it's, it's a sweet bean, a sweet but it bean. still tastes like a bean. It's nice to have it like in a in a medley. Sure. Like if if, uh, if if I've got like a pack of um um the little squishy fucking mochi mochi yeah like if I if I've got it in a medley of mochi then I'm super happy I got two of those I got two like uh, uh, oh, green yeah. tea I've got like two like whatever so I'm 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 down for oh, it. I love that but like place. I wouldn't want all red bean paste because it does get kind of dull quickly yeah fair love it. yeah love Scott it. says it's the texture the texture doesn't help. Okay, yeah. well, that's fair. Me. That's fair. Well, it's the same reason I don't like coconut. It's the texture. Yes, oh, I, I will. Coconut. I do. I am on that train. Yeah. Hate the coconut. Give it to me. I love it. It's my fave. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Nothing against it. Just I'm like I'm like oh, I'll drink something else. I'm fine. I, I, I think I prefer coconut milk, and then just not nothing else. <laughs> oh, I love coconut in all forms. Oh, that's Liquor. what I forgot. Shit. Milk. Yes, milk. I need to buy milk. For your costume or just in general? No, my sister brought me a box of fruit brute. Mm. This motherfucker just had a box of cereal next to him. Oh he no, he is he, he is snacks. What? It's okay. fruit brute, bitch. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm Anthony, I love you to death. Soup. I'm gonna call, you don't I'm like a, soup. I'm, all right, I'm gonna, I love you to death, but I'm gonna call you out. Damn, so you, you're one night, really shit down on that one. Uh, uh, one night we were sitting here uh, playing D and D. This motherfucker reaches over and picks up a jar of jelly and peanut butter just in his room and makes a sandwich. And we were like, do you leave that there? He's like, yeah. No, you have to put the jelly back in the refrigerator. Yeah, the and he's like, why? Do you know? He was legit you like, do. why? Did you read the label? It says refrigerator. This is why he was opening. sickly for so many years. Suggestion. It's like a suggestion. It is not a suggestion. It is it is it is clear advice. Man, yeah, I remember Corn Corn came down on me real hard on that. Yes, she um, did. Yes. If I leave it out long enough, it will like go bad. But you know what? For a long time, it's pretty much just the same. It's a preserve. <laughs> it was so wild. We were like, what are you doing? He's like, what? I'm making a sandwich. Was that I'm just hungry. there? <laughs> like, the okay. peanut butter you can leave out. The peanut butter peanut you can butter, leave yes, out. Oh yeah, the yeah, jelly is the jelly. Keep refrigerated. Uh -huh. yeah. I dislike refrigerating. Uh, there are p certain peanut butter brands that do need you to refrigerate it, and I hate it. Uh, that's fair. Thank I, you, I, thank you, Jackie. I just it, love the idea of Anthony. Just life hack. <laughs> It doesn't need to like be refrigerated like immediately. It's not like fucking tomato sauce or some shit. True. <laughs> I disagree, but you're fine. You've lived this long. And it will it's... be loud. Jordan, I dare you to pop one right now with your mouth. <laughs> uh, well, that so was anticlimactic. <laughs> Careful, we're we're verging onto OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so strong? Maybe your mouth. I mean, you have to take like a bite. I've been taking <laughs> bites. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I, I just I just have these these soft plant eater teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's all the vegetables you have. I, I can't do it. It's not working. Don't you dare pop it with one try. I just want to see it pop and then like the sudden scare. Oh my great! <laughs> it's okay. We still got some. Clip it. <laughs> oh man. You just gonna hold them on your chin now? Uh, yeah. Everybody, this these are some of my favorite people. Oh, see, it makes me look more fruitful. If I just added it up here. It yeah, makes you're, her feel you're, more fruitful, she just said. Your 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 shoulder mounted grapes. <laughs> um, 
It just makes me look more of the pack, you know? <laughs> Steph, were you that little girl that came as like a bag of candy or you would wrap yourself up in tinfoil and you're like, I'm a leftover. Were you that girl? No. Um, I think one of the weirdest costumes I was, was like my mom dressed me and I was like part ballerina, but like, I also had a, like a princess thing. I think my mom just started grabbing things and then just told me to wear it. You're a princess ballerina. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. My cousin was a You're dinosaur. a ballerina. That was more You're graceful. <laughs> Toilet paper mummy. <laughs> In fifth grade, Toilet I was a mommy. witch. What? In in fifth grade, like I got my mom's eyeshadow, and then I put green all over my face, and then really, really dark, like Ursula blue, like eyeshadow. Oh, you said. And then Grinch. I was a witch. A witch. Okay. Yeah, I was a witch. Was the green better that time than it was two weeks ago? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I should have just went eyeshadow. I don't know why. I didn't try. <laughs> oh, you know what? Can you stick the other one on the other headphone so I can really look like a grape? Oh, oh, okay. Fucking fruit just, of loom just, over here. Just pile her up with grapes. Yeah. I'm slowly trying to remember. I actually, I would have, I really, to, really would have enjoyed that a bunch if Jordan was also some kind of fruit from the loom. No. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Strawberries. I see Jordan is a strawberry. There what is what no was strawberry. supposed to happen? There's no strawberry? Is it cherries, grapes, and... Um, oh, shit on me. I only remember the I mean, it's not a banana because that's just too subjective. Orange? Everything's fine. Apple. I'm not, I'm not There's an apple. I yes. think it's an apple. Um, uh, I should just be the, the cornucopia itself. Ooh. You just stand behind the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. You get, you get a giant cornucopia, right, Jordan? Yeah. And you put it behind you so your face is in it and you put fruit all around it. <laughs> Stop spoiling Steph's costume next year. <laughs> so you just look, and when we go, what are you? You go, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Ooh, that was another pretty thing. So I, oh, the theme, I think you saw Leland, because you said you walked around the Bellagio when you went to Vegas. Yeah, the, your jungle. theme was, yeah, no. yours was, the thing I saw I was, was already gone. Yeah, I was looking for what, I was expecting to see what you saw. And then we yeah. came in and just the smell of like pumpkin spice and fall just like what did you say filled up the like air. Stuff? It smelled like right walking on. into a Michaels. Ew. <laughs> really? You old don't lady, smell? Old, old lady in desperation? No, no it, smelled it smelled more like smelled walking into a Pier 1. Or a Pier 1 import. Yeah, no, we had that jungle theme going on there. Oh, what was the summer? I was you know? yeah. So they actually won... They actually like drilled into the ground to make this uh this like tunnel oh, like a well like a well for like recycling the water the, the water they were using that in was the exhibit. The, in the exhibit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um it was actually like this whole little centerpiece that like does a waterfall down into the thing. Yeah, and then... it was it was like a fairy like like cascading water into a giant flower that which turned into a waterfall. Yeah. It was actually very pretty. Yeah. And then um, they had like, yeah, Thanksgiving carnicopias and yes, and um, really pretty stuff. So that was just really nice to walk into. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I find it interesting. I don't know if we've said it on this podcast, um, but I find it super like impressive that Vegas is like the most, if not one of the most water conservative cities in America. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's a desert. They have to be. Yeah, and like that's that's kind of the thing. It's like, oh, it seems like oh, you're in the desert. Like you'd have to go through so much water. But then like, oh no, because you're a desert, you have to like be precious about every drop of water that like you use. Yep. And so like, and also for being such a ginormous tourist trap. Yeah. The amount yeah. of like engineering you would have to like put into your base planning to stay water conservative. Yeah. I find to be like super impressive. Yeah. Um when you've got the fucking um or is it the is it the Bellagio that's got the big water? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. The, has, the fountains has, has the that fountain, shoot yeah. the other yeah, the water yeah. fountain like, shoot. You look at it and I'm like, "Wow, what a waste of water." But then realize like, "Oh, that's the same water from the show 2 hours ago." And and kind of yep. keep yeah. that in mind like, "Oh, okay, that's pretty rad." That is yeah, the, pretty. The water rad. just lands back in the water like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, California, real bad at water conservation. Also, Pinky Fan, you're 100% correct about Hobby Lobby. Oh, I don't yes. walk in there. <laughs> I'll pay more for We don't for do Michaels. a Hobby Lobby. They have yeah. better stuff. Fuck Hobby Lobby. They have better stuff. Yeah, no, um, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else we forgot to mention. Um, like, silly things. That what was the cake? Uh, there was cupcakes. Well, the cake, mm. there was a small cake, which yeah. was ras white chocolate raspberries. Yes. And then white the cupcakes raspberry filling. Yeah. were red velvet yeah. and white chocolate raspberry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because, again, it was, it was a very, like, intimate uh, reception. There's only, like, what? There's only, like, 40 of us. 40? There's less than 40. 30, maybe? Okay. It, mm, I would that say less than 30. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how people been having like these two hundred people weddings. Yeah. I think that's ridiculous and very expensive. I feel like <laughs> I'd be lucky to pull fifteen to twenty people. That's fine. And Ain't that's nothing a, wrong with that. Well, I'm not saying there's something wrong with it, but I'm just yeah. saying like if 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 I had to like pull people for like a wedding reception, I feel like fifteen to twenty, and that's if if, if a couple people came from out of state. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm out here still trying to collect enough friends. So when I order the 737 at Dre's nightclub, I'll have the 50 other people to ride with me on the 737 with fireworks going off and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting that much. I'm never gonna have that many people I can call on. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I'm confident. Oh. I could. I, I'm confident I could pull 10 people. I'm confident about go. that. Then I start to get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, it, there's at least like 15 right here right now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he, he doesn't want all of us at his wedding, apparently. Oh, <laughs> damn. No, this no. That's cool. I'm, I am looking at the numbers right now. I'm like, mm, don't count the mods. <laughs> or not the mods. Don't count the bots. Don't count this the is, bots. This is how I'm going to show up at your wedding because you didn't want me in it. <laughs> Why is Leland holding you, that noose? <laughs> you dramatic ass bitch. <laughs> oh, so you're going to be dressing as uh, Jesse Smollett at Anthony's wedding? Damn. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> when we were driving through Vegas, too, I actually saw the building for that eat in the dark thing. And yes. I was like, oh, wow, there it is. That makes me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. People go there to pay money to not see what they're eating. Yeah. I'd like to be super dumb. <laughs> I don't know. It's supposed to change the experience of when you eat, but that's that's what they sell you on. Yeah. I've I've never been in this in that situation where it changed anything. So we're gonna do this. When so we do what Vegas. if we did a game when we're all together? And we just do the oh. box thing. Oh my where... god, Leland! <gasps> What'd you get here? I love it. Oh, now he's just a farmer. <laughs> oh man! Oh! Oh, he can't hear. He's he can't saying. hear anything. <laughs> we can talk so much. Oh, I know he's back. <laughs> you know what? I don't care what anyone says. I love that Leland. Oh, yeah. hey, bud. Oh my god. It got so hot, and my news started cutting off circulation on my oh, neck. Because no. <laughs> you were fucking with it. Shut the fuck up. I look good. He missed his phone. <laughs> no. He wants to see what's happening on Instagram. All right, time it's to so drink. so fucking hot. <laughs> Can you? I don't have a lot left. Quit cashing in those I points. It. I got it. Oh. Uh... What were you talking about? Well, I, I have a number up if we can do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, roll into that here in a second. Um, one to something. You think if there was any uh, movies, what did we watch? Did we attempt to we watch? We didn't watch anything. <laughs> Shit, you we just, just did watch... wedding shit all weekend. Yeah, and we Sorry. just watched the first episode we of Midnight Club. We watched the Club. first episode of Midnight Club. I oh, hear it's that? good. What? I what like is it. that? So, the Midnight Club. Oh, it's Michael, sad. The Midnight Club is yeah, Mike Flanagan's but... newest, uh, uh, you know, horror yeah. series. Yeah. Um, yeah. It so follows... the guy who did Haunting on Hill House. Yeah. Um, that guy. Who did Midnight and, uh, Mass. Um, yeah, Midnight, Midnight Mass. Mass. Yeah. yeah. Bly... yeah. I haven't watched Blind and, Mather yet. Uh, Blind Manor is good. It is just way sadder than anything else. <laughs> yeah. I don't sadder know than the Cancer Kids. 
Okay. What cancer it, it, it is now a runner-up because, okay, okay, so the Midnight Club follows a group of teenagers who all have terminal illnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And they're all at this uh, hospice for teenagers with terminal illnesses. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The main character that we're following, uh, uh, Ilana. Uh, Ilana? Ayanka. Ayanka. Ayanka? Alanka, uh, Alanka, Alanka, Alanka. Uh, uh, we follow Street Alanka. Fighter? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's Blanca. Blanca. <laughs> oh uh, my bad. Yeah, so we we follow Alanka, and uh, she finds out she has thyroid cancer, uh, and this is like right before she's about to go to college and like live out her dreams, all these things. Instead yeah. of going to college, she's now going to this hospice. Anyway, uh, she chooses to go to this hospice because one, she has a bunch of these visions about this place. And then she reads a story about another person who had thyroid cancer who went to this place and went into full remission and survived thyroid yeah. cancer. So she's like, I'm going to go to this place. Last ditch effort to see if she can basically save her own life. Yeah. Uh, we've only watched the first episode, which introduces all of these things, uh, including the, the Midnight Club itself. So I, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, there's already hints of what's to come. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of parts that, like, made me laugh. It's yeah. not funny, but it's just, like, the... Like, the the trailer has clips from the other Mike Flanagan shows. Oh. Yeah, which is confusing to me. I don't know if that's going to come oh, into come play. Oh, come into play? Or like, it kind of seemed yeah. like some weird clip show. Yeah, that's not what it which... is. Yeah, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. But Anthony, you will like... Yeah. The the um the chick the main chick from um Nightmare on Elm Street she's she's in, she's acting again Heather Langenkamp oh right on yeah I'm surprised they allow her to act at all she's so bad but you know, that's cool <laughs> uh, but yeah Midnight Club is basically are you afraid are you afraid of the dark if to, if it was cancer children telling you the stories. <laughs> Uh, and yes, Jackie, I do. I do know they rebooted. Are you afraid of the dark? Now the thing is, me I... and Scott have watched two seasons. Yeah. Where is it playing? What, which one? Are you afraid of the dark? Yeah. That's on Paramount. Paramount. Yeah, Paramount has like all the Nick stuff. I yeah, think. yeah, it's a Nickelodeon okay. show. Yeah. I. Lex. <laughs> <laughs> Steph has never watched Are You Afraid of the Dark because she was too scared to watch it. Yeah, because I. Only... I never heard of it until. Well, I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. So. Yeah. Well, I vividly, and if this is the correct one, I remember one of the times that it was on TV. It was like, I think there was like in, like a, a Native American ghost or something. Or someone that would like show up on the patio of the bedroom. No, that's reservation dogs. I'm that's kidding. Not... Go on. Go on. <laughs> and then, yeah. What it, a good ending. This person know, right? would show up and then they would write a symbol on the glass. Oh. And wherever that symbol pops up is where that person will like kind of like teleport or show up. And Did I. Did they put them on the glass, Jeff? So it's like Minato from Naruto. I don't know un- all these references that you're saying, and then it makes me forget stuff. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yes, Johnny Bravo. Can, can I just explain how fucking dumb I am? <laughs> when she it? said symbol, I fucking thought of a fucking symbol. <laughs> and oh. I was so confused for a second. Of it making noises like that? Like, da 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 But a drawing a symbol. symbol. <laughs> I'm like... How does that work? Because I'm a <laughs> fucking idiot. That's how. Oh, it's okay. Like the sh- I'd like to shout out that without the scarecrow mask, I look like a um, a woman gardening on the weekend. Yes. Oh, you should grab some grapes. You need some what? God. <laughs> More me. grape puns, please. <laughs> yeah, they're grape. <laughs> Thanks. Did you say harvest me? Yeah, I said harvest me. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> filthy. Oh, Save sorry. it for the OnlyFans. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> only only fruits. When you when you do fruits! your bubble show where you like pop the balloons. Only grapes. Look, that's burlesque. a thing, and people will pay good money for Steph to pop balloons with her feet. <laughs> yes, yep. especially with her feet. Yep. I mean anything with your feet you can charge extra. Mm-hmm. Yep. Speaking yep. of feet, you guys watching House of the Dragon? No. No. Not yet. Wait until it's all done. Fair. Waiting to care more. Hello, Moon Knight. What's up, Moon Knight? 
Moon Knight, I'm what's like, up? Yo, you, are you coming back for season two? Welcome to the stream. God, I hope so. Yeah, I really, I really Hit us, hope. Moon Knight. What's what do you your got? Question? I really hope Moon Knight does come back with the season two. Cause didn't Oscar Isaac say he wants to come back for it? There's like, like some yeah. teasing about it, yeah. but yeah. there's no confirmation. Leland, have you put the numbers out in the chat yet? Yep. I, I okay. already know what we're doing. I'm just waiting okay. for us to stop talking. All right, I, I must have missed it. No, it's all good. Yeah, we'll 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 hit that after uh, Moon Knight knocks us out with their question. What do you think about Sasha Baron Cohen confirms as Mephisto in Ironheart series? I am a fucking full support of Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, fuck him. He's... Fuck that. Fuck him all the way to hell. Was wow. that Borat? Yes, it's Borat. Yep. Yes. Why? 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 why I don't know. So I prefer. I don't think he's funny. But like he's also like a good serious actor yeah, too. Yeah, he's though. actually yeah. No, he's fucking. He's wow, that is really. intense. Yeah, fucking. Wow. We could have okay. done better. Who? Anybody. Oh. <laughs> this sounds personal. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. Leland did like Sasha Baron Cohen ride down in some fancy weird like German Lighting like car metal, that I assume is like too long and too narrow, but like. Drive through a puddle and splash you one day because this did, feels real personal. Did, 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 I don't care for him. Did, did, look, did, did, I don't. I can't explain it. Why? Look, there's something about it. When I look at him, I get angry. I can't explain it. It's the same thing. When I look at January Jones, I get angry. It's just it's certain January people. Jones. But she's a bitch bad. that don't matter. <laughs> she's bad at acting. I get that. Yeah. I didn't say he was a bad actor. I just don't care for him. That's why I'm trying to figure out why are you so mad at him? Like he fucking yeah. slapped the last Twix out of your hand. Yeah, just don't care. And he slapped the yeah. left one. Oh. I mean, also Thanks. because before he was confirmed, it was Jeffrey Dean Morgan for about a hot minute there, and I was like, yeah, now that's mm. good. And then, you know, you know, and then we got we, and then fucking. Uh, fucking uh, what's his uh, Ali G rolls up, and I'm like, I don't give a shit about this asshole. Well, it was like 30 Ooh. years ago. Is, is, yeah. It, it, did you did you buy some of Pirelli's Miracle Elixir and it just pissed you <laughs> off? Yeah. Fuck him in that movie too. I'm glad I watched a repeat watching him get his throat sliced. I was like, yeah, stop talking. I just rewatched that too this this month. Like I did. Hell, it's yeah. still not good. Aww. Aww. I like to sing along. I do too. I look. I listen to the These soundtrack constantly, but friends. none of those people in that movie, the, the the lead cast, can sing. I'm tired of these oh. musicals with people who can't fucking sing. It's wild to me. Like you know? I, 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 I rewatched it. <laughs> yeah, they cannot sing? sing. Once you see like the stage show, and you're like, oh That's yeah, different. no, these people can that sing. Okay. But it, but not... it should be the same. It should be people who can sing. It's a musical. Yes. But uh, 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 movie actors are different from Broadway actors. That that's yeah. just that's just what. Then hire an actor who's good and can sing. It's and not hard. It, it's actually super hard. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it doesn't happen that I, I often. Think, I don't think those, it is. I think they go out of their way because they wanted Johnny Depp oh, and Helena Bonham Carter to be. Those in. Those actors and, don't have as high of recognition, and though and thusly can't pull in the same amount of money. Also, I that. get why they chose them. But, but I'm then, just saying, get people who fucking listen, sing. We're not making art out here. We're making goddamn movies. <laughs> then you have people like Matthew Morrison, who is also who's a Broadway actor and and a. a a TV actor, and he's a terrible person and not great acting yeah. on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for not being a good person. <laughs> but then you also have Leah Michelle, who's also not yeah. a good person <laughs> and not great yeah. acting on TV either. Yeah, they're, they're look, two I'm, entirely different skill sets. Like that. Look, that but she can, she can, she sing, can sing, but she fucking but sucks she's a terrible as a person. person. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, don't get me wrong. I listen to that soundtrack a lot. That one specifically with those actors that you complain can't sing? Yeah, because I can sing along to that one and feel like I can join in and their games because they they're so that. bad. It's for mass appeal. That's why. And that's why we have Chris Pratt as goddamn Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this all, is really about. <laughs> it's all Sweeney Todd's fault. It's all Sweeney Todd's fault. Oh, I, I rewatched told. it and I really enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed it yeah, on a no, whole no, other I level. Like oh, yeah, I no, do. I, like I, it. I, I skip. For Todd. Like, I, I, I skip all the songs I don't like, though. I go to the stuff I enjoy, which is mostly all the 
the Sweeney Todd love it shit. Like I don't give a shit about the barber and I God, I can't stand when they go to the fucking Joanna. I could give two fucks about her story. I'm like, I skip all that nonsense. (laughs) That's Loki, my favorite song. No, I hate that song. I I hate hate it so much. At least she can sing though. (laughs) No, no, not that one. Her solo song. Song where oh, she's oh, fucking song. crocheting yeah, and shit. Yeah, the bird song. I don't like the bird song at yeah. all. Yeah, that one's not great. Yeah, no. Is that, that that birds great. or whatever yeah. thing? Oh, yeah, I don't but, but, uh, but number one from Stranger oh, no. Things, his song, the Joanna no, 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 song, no, no, no. is good. No. Uh, there you go. That guy can fucking sing. Amanda Seyfried was, wasn't that lame <laughs> No, that was Lay Miz. That was Lay Miz. Oh, God. Lay Miz? What's his face? What's his face? I still never seen him. Russell Crowe. You're fine. One day more to revolution. One day more to revolution. We will nip it in the bud. We will silence all these schoolboys. We will cover them with blood. Yeah, it was very just like, God, you suck. But Hugh Jackman He's so bad. Yeah. Like yeah, everybody oh, else in that movie yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, they got people Jackman who can so sing. Good. Yeah. But like yeah. you but Russell Crowe brings it down so <laughs> much. But even then they put a hell of a god of, they put fucking Mephisto and Hell of a Bottom Carter in there for one fucking number. And you're like, oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Boop boop boop. <laughs> I like uh, what's her song? The uh It's the one where she's like obsessed. Oh yeah, they're like the the, oh, the midpoint yeah. song where she's yeah. like in her fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mr. Tom. I like the sea. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good song. I, 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 I like that enjoy, song. I it's do enjoy fun. the whole opening where it's all in one breath and it's she's saying a lot of things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That one's fun. Or I the, do enjoy it. Like I'm not a big fan of Les Mis. I actually fuck that whole thing. But like I yeah. do like the song where the dark haired girl is singing about um, coins and. She's singing in the rain and shit. You're like, oh, that's a good song. Because she's singing about the the dude that that is in love with the other girl, but not with her. Oh she's like, yes, yeah, that's really a good one. It. Yeah, it's a really good song. Yeah, that's yeah. a good song. It's a good song. Yeah, yeah. Les Mis has got some good songs in it. I just oh, don't yeah. give a fuck about Viva la Revolution, and I don't oh, care about Russell yeah. Crowe. So. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. fair. That's Everyone fair. but Russell Crowe is good in that. <laughs> oh my god, he's so bad. That's most of his movies, dude. There was it a is. meme. It's shameful to say, like when he hits high, they're good. But when he hits middle of the road, they're real bad. About, You're just like, about, oh. What about in The Man with the Iron Fist? Ooh. Dude, that movie oh, is so much better than it fucking should be. <laughs> it's so good. It is. It is good not because of Russell Crowe. Not because of Russell Crowe. It's all because oh. of, no. of, of, of Russell Crowe bottles the, 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 his the, ass yeah. on the screen Ooh. and does next oh, to yeah. nothing. The, remember, oh, Anthony yes, cool cool saw that in the theater. Knife. And fucking, yeah. he comes on and he, Anthony leans in and goes like, is that fat Russell Crowe? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ate Russell Crowe. Like, I have seen, <laughs> yeah, have I have you seen, seen the memes? They'll put like they'll put uh what's the movie? A gladiator, and then it'll be like him and gladiator, and then him now, and I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> well, it's in his fifties. You can't, you know. Like, I know, he got older. but like they're just showing, look you know, at Tom Cruise. They're He's showing still love and thunder. Somewhere. And that it's Did you like, hear what that motherfucker's that. gonna do? But. He's in you another movie, this? right? Is Always. It the plane thing? <laughs> no, the man is going to spacewalk for a movie. He's oh. literally going to be the first non-astronaut to spacewalk for a fucking movie. Fuck it, let him do it. <laughs> Insurance awesome. must yeah. hate this man. Somebody, <laughs> Lance somebody, somebody to has to space stop him. And then he could tried to. <laughs> he tried to. Yes, I think he, he tried. I think he tried. He tried to get on like that Virgin flight. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Like uh, space. Yeah. Um. And and like yeah. For some reason, I think he, he couldn't do it. He you know. Speaking it. of InSync, I recently remembered that Chris Kirkpatrick was also in InSync. <laughs> he doesn't remember <laughs> either. Sometimes I until he got his ass kicked. I kept thinking there's only four of them until yes, I remembered the Eminem line. Chris Kirkpatrick, you could get your ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm like, there's there's Justin Timberlake, there's J C Chazé. There's Lance Bass and there's Joy Fatone, right? That's that's in sync. That's nope. all of them. There's Chris Kirkpatrick no. who had then dreadlocks. There's the old, yeah, then there's the Chris... old guy who was around. Wasn't it Chris and <laughs> yeah, Joey the, in he... a movie? Yes. No, that was Lance and uh, Joey and on the line. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was Lance. Okay. So Chris was just nothing. Lance was my favorite, and I still liked Justin with his ramen hair. <laughs> I'll admit that. Look, JC Chazé oh, was the, the butter best hair. Singer. Oh. Yeah, Jason Chazé was the best singer in InSync, and he should have had a much better solo career. 
I don't know. I guess because he's probably like you know, like the Kevin from Backstreet Boys. He's they're just the older people that. There's a Kevin don't. in Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yes. Kevin. Yeah. He's the, the oldest tall, one. Dark haired one. The tall yeah. guy. I like Listen, AJ. They're all the tall guy to me. <laughs> oh. I was an AJ and Nick fan, but I heard Nick has he's a hot problems. Head. Yeah. <laughs> what about the other guy, Brian? Oh, I wasn't a Brian person. Hmm. Yeah, I was more of a AJ wow, person. I I AJ sold the shit of that CD, also. but I do not know any of these names other than like the, the, not the, Nick was the little one. No, Aaron was the little one. It's Nick, Nick and then the, Aaron Carter. Yes. Yeah. Aaron, Carter. and oh, they're Aaron Carter's the one with the, yeah, he's the guy, the tattoos on the face now. Yeah, he yeah. went. Yeah. And, and, and they're both anything. assholes, right? Yeah. They're yes. not, they're not great. Yeah. They're, they're, they're original Paul brothers. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, That's ew. valid. Ew. <laughs> yeah, maybe do Ew. Something. I'm really upset. Now that I know who he is because of wrestling, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm I'm real upset that he just walks in and fucking challenges Roman Reigns and he's but, gonna get that mad. I hate I hate to say it, but at least Logan has improved his reputation. That's it. The end. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, we watched wrestling. You watched yeah, wrestling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we watched. Oh my god, can what? we talk wrestling? We watched Extreme What'd Rules. What'd you watch? Yeah, we watched the Extreme Rules one, and it was funny. I just, Fun, I find it really how. scary to fight a wrestler who's barefoot and has long hair <laughs> like that. Not, I just don't. I don't want to fight you. You scare me. You don't care about Who's your toes. Who's she talking about? Seth Rollins versus uh, that dude. Oh, uh, Matt Riddle. Oh, the bro. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was just yeah. like, man. Yeah, but that was a good it? match, though. Yeah. <laughs> In the fight pit. Yeah, in the yeah. fight pit. With, with, with Daniel Cormier himself there, who could destroy both of those men if they had an actual we fight. Just, I looked just kept soft laughing as hell. because he just kept yeah. saying He didn't shit know like, why he was there. No, he's, he's a huge fan of Seth Rollins. That's why he's there. The insults Fair are enough. just funny because he would just be like, you're a loser. And I'm like, oh, man. This is why your hurts. wife left this you. This is why your wife left you. And I was like, oh, man, God. It got hardcore. <laughs> yeah, we just kept yelling at the Fucking screen. Fucking going after the dude's family. That was nuts. Well, he doesn't yeah. have a family anymore. Yeah, we His well, wife yeah, left um, him. Took the kids. Yeah. Yeah, we were yelling at it's, the screen. <laughs> Matt Riddle's got a very uh, dark, uh, not dark, dark seems sad. A questionable past of... Um, not honorable deeds. Yeah. Uh, he, well, I mean, he he's naked all over the internet, so I mean, he doesn't yeah. need to be praised at all. What he is? Yeah, we, he had dick pics leak. Then we had a long discussion of like, what's her name? Uh, the one that uh, is it Maya R Jackson and how she oh, like Nia Jax. Nia Jackson. Oh, oh yeah. Everyone. Oh, crazy and bitch. I was like, oh, oh god. god. <laughs> how she gave half the women's roster concussions. I was like, oh gee. Yeah. She does. Yeah. I know me and Scott were talking about the other day. I was like, look, was I a fan? Yes. Was she batshit crazy? Yes. Yeah. She was. I just like Was she them dangerous in the ring? That, oh, yeah. yeah, she was a, a totally unprofessional. But I <laughs> I like them big girls coming in and chucking right out now. another little girl. Like I, I enjoy <laughs> that. That's why I like Strowman, because he's like a seven foot tall god that rolls in and knocks little people out. I love it. <laughs> but there are like several other women who are doing that. Yeah, yeah it, but she was the first one I saw. All right, Remember, saw. the the first time I watched any wrestling was that 2018 Royal Rumble, oh. which was like the greatest Royal Rumble ever because they had her fighting dudes and she like kicked the fuck out of somebody. I don't know. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, I, and I, and I remember I text you because Sasha Banks was coming down and I text you. I was like, who the fuck is Cardi B walking down the aisle here? Like, I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, and by the end of that match, I was like, I'm a huge fan of wrestling. Who saw that fucking coming? <laughs> I, like, I think my favorite Nia Jax match was when it was the four way between Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte, oh, and, and, okay. and, and, and Nia. And then both, Bailey and Sasha were trying to go for a suplex, but they couldn't do it. So Charlotte goes in and big boots her, and then they get her over <laughs> to do the suplex. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> yeah, no. I uh, enjoyed it no. when uh, Nia ran through. It was the uh, uh, the chamber match, and she ran into the cage like at a rhino speed and broke the whole chain, the cage in half. I was like, that's good TV right there. Oh my God. <laughs> Just, 
I just remember when we watched. Beth oh Beth yeah, when Beth Phoenix fucking bled in the ring for two hours. Oh, I was like, God. "This is my queen." <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> I want to talk to. I want to talk to Triple H. I, I know he's he's watching. He's a big fan. Oh yeah, he's number ten in the chat. Uh, yeah, Hunter. <laughs> Hunter. Let Rhea fight the dudes and fucking whip them. It feels like we are so close to seeing Rhea just wreck a motherfucker, and I am so for it. Please it's start. Fu it's funny you start say that. Wrestling. I have a customer that um, I was talking to him about it, and I because I, him and his wife are really into it. And I said, "What's your thoughts on the inner, you know, the uh, the interracial?" Thank you. And he was like, "He's like, look, I'm all in it." He's like, "I've watched, you know, um, what's the Lucha Underground? Yeah. Um, uh, what's what's the what was the show they had on um, the Stars?" And uh, the, so oh wait, what? Oh, the the scripted show Heels? No, no, no. The, it was the the Mexican oh. wrestling that was yeah, kind of like a show. Underground. Oh, okay, oh. I was thinking of something else. Anyway, um, but yeah, they fought. Anyway, he was saying that like he's all for it, but his wife was like, "No, I don't want to watch that." And I think that's why they don't do it mainstream. Is that women still do not want to watch someone they idolize? Yeah bit punched in the face but i was like Fair. i hear you but doesn't that woman turn around and punch that man right in the nuts doesn't that feel good like <laughs> i i absolutely get that and yeah. i don't need to see it like all the time but there are some women that are built up to look strong enough that i completely believe that that is now a fair fight if you take mm -hmm. like Sasha banks who is cripplingly small and always injured and put her against like Oh, like any dude on the main Lashley. roster who is like, yeah, 10 inches or more taller than her. That seems unsafe and yes. dangerous. But some women like Nia Jax, if she was good, yeah. Rhea Ripley, for sure. Where I believe that in this performance of a fight, that these two can be equally matched. Uh, I feel like that is that that has some some merit. Now, I do not have the perspective of being any kind of witness to like that kind of uh, abuse and i absolutely fucking vega against otis <laughs> alexa um, bliss versus braum stroman oh. <laughs> um, um eh, so yes. i yes yes well because you said never... a l e x a oh, yeah, i did say that my bad Alexa, I, would stop. I would never i would never like deny anyone from saying like that makes them uncomfortable i absolutely yeah. understand and get um they totally get it, yeah. on an interview um when what was the the pay-per-view net last month um Extreme over Wars. in england or whatever oh, um Ash of the castle yeah they asked her they're like why do you want to i forget the question but she was like no i want to fight edge she goes i love and respect that man yes i want to fight him in the ring she goes but they won't let me and I was like, probably because he's old and you can kill him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but hopefully we get her and Beth Phoenix, and that will be a fucking great fight. Oh, you know she coming. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I, I want to see Beth come out of retirement. She comes out now and then. Once in a while. Yeah, Which, but like, this, know, this is worth it. I mean, she no, she's not rules. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I do. Beth Phoenix, when she comes out in her dumbass outfit with that goddamn bird on her titties and she got the flaming hair, I'm like, yeah, kick some ass, bitch. <laughs> I love it. Phoenix, it's a phoenix on her chest. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. I just. All right, you wanted the question? Yes. <laughs> okay. Like Is it a quick one? It's a quick one. Okay. okay. It's treat yourself day. Okay. What do you do? It treats yourself 2022. What do you do? Uh, I would God. go to Fogo de Chao, get, get a uh, dinner for one, which I have done this before. Um, so I get all the meats, just fill my face and stomach with all the meat I can possibly get. But Arby's uh, has the meats. But they don't have the Fogo de Chao meats, the Brazilian okay, steakhouse okay. meats. Uh, so I do that. Uh, probably get me a nice, tall bottle of Maker's Mark. Uh, uh, you know, get, get some ice in there. Maybe one I, I like I know how to make myself an old fashioned now. Maybe I make myself an old fashioned in the process. Um, do all that and probably just play some video games. That's what that's what makes me feel whole inside. Hmm. The end. <laughs> I want to go to one of those really bougie spa places and I want to sit in a pool of mud 
and and then later on take a bath in a in a in a rose petal bath. <laughs> it's not a bad day. Dude, have you gone to the spa yet? Like no. we spa or you spa in no. LA? They, is that you, the one that that you get? We yeah. get segregated, and the three of us are gonna sit around looking at each other naked, and you're by yourself. No, because we meet in the nap room with our robes and snacks. They have food. I like the sound of a nap room. And then we could go in that room with the <laughs> oh, with those hot Cheeto together. puffs, and you just lay down. You know, if you need a cheap place to stay, you can stay there overnight and just be in the nap room. That's a thing. That sounds like how you get monkeypox. I don't know about right now. That's a thing. You can do it. That's a thing. But yeah, I would love to do a spa day with like a massage and all that stuff. And then eat ice cream. That's all I want. Simple pleasures. Yeah. I'm, me is just meat and bourbon, really. That's... Oh, yeah. I like massages. I like meat. And warm water. And bourbon. And rose petals. And video games. Anthony, treat yourself. Um. Oh, I. Any. Okay. While I... you're thinking about that, Anthony, Leland. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy Land. Okay. okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Oh. Disneyland with my friends and eating bad food. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be yeah. fun. But a spa day also sounds real nice. I'm down. LORC yeah. goes to a spa. I'm terrified. LORC goes to you a spa. You had one bad experience. They're not all going to beat you up <laughs> like that woman I did. How do I know that? How do I know? He's got a point. How does he know that? The one, the one time I'm going to go to the spa, <laughs> someone is just going to beat the shit right, out of me. Right now, 100% of the time, he's gone for spa treatments. He has been abused. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, no, like, I was thinking about it the other day because I was, like, asking Jordan. I was like, if I ever got, like, a pedicure done, would you go and get one done, too, so you could talk about it later on? And then I was like, actually, never mind. Your feet are titulous. She might kick the lady. <laughs> Look, she... I... I would totally do a, a manicure and a pedicure just to say I did one once. You've never but done I it? Do, it's oh, nice. I, wonder, but I, do I don't know. I know a lot of guys who I do. I do want to just want to see what it feels like, but I also yeah. don't feel comfortable doing it. Like if it's not like a group thing. Would you Why? do the fish thing? I would do the fish thing. They, they have it in Vegas. We could sit oh, all together God. and stick our feet in these in in our our individual I'm gonna little around, glass get the piranha, tanks the, the with, the, tank. with the fish in it. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, Vegas, we're gonna get our feet done. We're gonna get our feet done. <laughs> it's gonna be really weird. It's gonna be. It'll very... be really fun just to talk about it. You either really hate it or you know what? It's okay. <laughs> all right, Anthony, you got you had time. You got a day. Uh, I, I I I go to wings and things and and then I go to the bunny ranch and taste the rainbow. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ! No, what? you probably would love to go to some kind of like Halloween themed. I don't know, something. Sure, right? also good. I want to do all that too. Also good. Yeah. There's I... also a lot of ethnicities of women that I haven't seen naked. So. Oh, that's true. You go to the bunny ranch with ranch. And yeah, from the wings and things. Ranch. Yeah, you know what? I get it. I get it. You want, you, you want to take us out? <laughs> what? I mean, it's a very What's Johnny it? Bravo answer. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, Jackie down there telling we should go to Soapland, which is just the same thing. She, she said it first before I ever said it. Oh. So the audience... Uh, the audience is for Ooh, this I'm kind down. of behavior. I want to go to a hot spring. I don't know what Soapland is. I don't know what Soapland is either, but I love me a hot spring. I like how Anthony's beer is censored. <laughs> I assume the Soapland is just a whorehouse. It's a but Green Lantern so beer. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a Green Lantern uh, sleeve. It's yeah, green? it's it's like a it's a snuggie for my bottle to oh, keep it cool. cool. Oh, it's great. Oh, is that a euphemism? <laughs> and it. Sexy. Ooh, baby. Do you have the willpower to show us your green? Okay. Did you have something to follow up with that? Nope. Okay. I was waiting for you to pick up so we can end this. Ah, okay. 
If you have enjoyed this ridiculous conversation, then please be following us on our social medias. We are on the Instagram, Facebook, and the Twitter. You can find us by searching for League of Ridiculous Conversations or LORC Podcast. Revi, you're here. At what point did you walk in on that conversation? <laughs> I, I, I think he missed the part where you were talking, so it's fine. Okay, for the best. <laughs> uh... There we post about what we are up to, um, random photos, uh, and really the Instagram is the star of our social media. There's where we love to support um, members in our community. Specifically, uh, we have a lot of artists in our community that uh, are doing fantastic work, as well as uh, other streamers, like we mentioned previously, Cornbreb. Uh, I am Revi, who has joined us, uh, is another um, streamer that we love so, 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 so much. Um, but Grizz Geek, uh, among other artists, uh, we like to share. So the Instagram is really where it's popping off the most, as well as Leland's art. But we'll get to that in a second. If you are watching us on Twitch and maybe missed the beginning of the show, someday this will be on a podcast play. So if you want to subscribe and catch up on the first half or other episodes you may have missed, you can subscribe to this show on the podcast places. We knocked another no, uh, another topic off the list of ridiculousness. Uh, wait, do we have a name of it? The 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 in in Halloween is it the cauldron of something? Cauldron of conversations. I like the it. cauldron of conversations. Uh, if you would like to add ridiculous topics, the things that come up between you and other what? friends at two a.m. in a Denny's while you're still a little bit inebriated or on some other type of um, bullshit. Jordan, Duff. bite that grape again. Pop it. Pop it. You know it. what it is? He Get had it, so many grass jelly beans, his he's turned into a brontosaurus with flat teeth and he can't he can't puncture the balloon. <laughs> that was a long walk for a short drink. <laughs> it was. <laughs> you, you can see, email you all of your thoughts, uh, conversation it's topics. In my tooth. It's not breaking. Grind. Oh, get at it. Our email is lorcpodcast at gmail.com. We are here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Tuesday is the podcast day. Thursday is co-op Thursday, where the two knuckleheads down there at the bottom will get together and play a video game. They've been working themselves through Resident Evil since the beginning of time. Uh, yes. Someday they'll be done and probably maybe There's do a, a different game. Yeah, there's just a lot of stories that we do. We're, yeah, we're we, we, got of, another, we got the next game lined up already. Yeah. The, the densest of the fucking Resident Evil games, it seems. Yeah. Uh, and ah. on Sunday, the community we got it. gets... Yay! We got one! <laughs> now keep going. <laughs> Sunday is Community Day, where we play large multiplayer games uh, with members of the community uh if you really want to get in on that be sure that you are in our discord discord is free to everybody and anybody who wants to be in there it is also cool you know what i mean just be cool the discord uh will show up at some point in the chat there it, there is. it is or Thank reach you. out to us via any of the previously mentioned social medias and we'll get you in there our social media is small but mighty True. Leland, oh. you are making that art celebrating the Hollow's Eve season. Where do the people find your stuff? Also, pineapples. <laughs> yes. Um, you can find me at Leland Pierce Art. Uh, I'm doing my 31 Day of Witches, having a good time drawing witches. Um, you can find that on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and you can also go to Pineapple Pierce for my. My teak Sona, apparently, as Anthony coined it. I don't think that was me. That might have been Beck. Someone did it. I feel and now it's clever. a thing. Who cares? Feels too clever for me. Steph? Yes. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Steph Noise. That's S-T-E-P-H-U-H-N-O-I-D-S. I post shit. That is all. Jordan, where can the people find you? You can find me on most social media platforms at Jordan is a bear and uh, twitch.tv slash Jordan is a bear. Clearly, I have, I'm on hiatus because I'm not at home to stream. Uh, yeah, I'll do that when I'm home. 
But follow me. I'm mostly on Twitter. I'm a, a lot. I'm on Twitter a lot, actually. Uh, and I sometimes post on Instagram. Uh, so if you are into that, stop on by. Um, yeah, that's it for me. The end, Anthony. <laughs> and if you want to do the monkey with me. <laughs> who, ha, who. Find me at Spooky the 13th on Instagram and the Twitter. So, until next week, I'm Anthony, and in alphabetical order we are... I'm Jordan. I'm Leland. I'm Steph. Everybody do the monkey! <laughs> Bye! 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 And there's the age gap between Leland and I. <laughs> What's up? What? What? <laughs> What what's the age gap? Uh, between remembering that, months. remembering the uh, Johnny Bravo and the monkey. I mean, I remember he had a dance, which was the monkey. Yeah, like, I think I've watched that show maybe like twice. No, like I have, I've definitely not watched every episode. Um, but when I was kind of surveying, like, hey, what costume should I do? Someone said it. I'm like, oh, you know what? That sounds real fun. That'd be a well, fun kind of like, hey, no one thought of that one kind of One costume. day we'll get through all of the Golden Age of Cartoon Network cartoons on this show. Yeah, and then you <laughs> did, uh, then when you did the Powerpuff Girls, I'm like, oh shit, this is so funny. <laughs> we got to get um, we a Dexter's good Johnny lab. Bravo. <laughs> oh, Leland, do Dexter's Lab, please. Uh, I think I watched it once. Remember? have to have watched it right. you know if we're all just gonna like pull costumes off then yeah it's night it's hot <laughs> yeah it's hot it's night it's hot. in halloween though it's hot <sighs> okay uh, that's better so cute top though ah uh, so much better Ooh, leland just I'll oh, be just right hearing. back. He, just he's hearing changed, changed. on his oh, What's he doing that we can't, that we're not allowed to watch and see? It's like, it's like peeling a uh, uh, tape off your nipples. You can't really do it on Twitch. <laughs> Beck, what's the weather like uh, in your neck of the woods? Cold, apparently. Yeah. Aww. I, I, I thought, I thought 40 degrees? Good oh, God. God. Damn. Also, I I thought Cartoon Network survived the the rumors that they were being shut down by new Warner Brothers. Fucking yeah, my, Warner my, Brothers. I wouldn't know the answer to any of that. And also, the Black Adam reviews are coming out. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Jordan told me how it took like how many tries for them to just make it. Yeah, they they. PG. They uh, re-edited the movie like four times to make it PG-13 instead of wow. R. Because it just kept hitting R. Which, at that point, why not just keep it at R? They could, but they apparently, it, yeah. it doesn't make good... It won't make as much money. Yeah, it won't make as much money. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow, that's surprising that they went so hard. Yeah. I Jin like, gave it a five. Who gave out it a five? five? I, I Jin gave it a five out of ten. Oh, wow. yeah. But it's IGN though, or is that? Would you? I mean, it? they're one of the biggest outlets, so a lot of people are going to see that. Oh. But yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily trust their but, opinions on movies. But like, full reviews will be coming out uh, tomorrow. I think that's when the embargo lifts for everyone else. Uh, yeah. What, what uh, are we talking about? Black, Black Adam. Adam. Black Adam. Oh, Black Adam reviews. the reviews have been dreadful. Yeah. Oh, really? I read a bunch of them today. They they just were like, this movie is dull. It has no purpose. There's it's a CGI villain that has. It, they ripped it apart. Like I was like, damn. Ooh, it kind of felt like it was personal. At the Rock, I was <laughs> like, really? I was like, yeah. It it yeah. really the one I read sounded Sorry, like the, this guy was like, then. you know what? For talking to me for the last ten years about how good this movie's gonna be, he didn't live up to it. So fuck him. I was like, but, all right. But but Leland, Calm the down. the power hierarchy of the DC universe was about to change. I know. <laughs> and then so well, so he wrote the review as if you wrote a review about Sasha Baron Cohen. 
Look, I was going to complain about that again. Um, or not complain. Look, just because I don't like someone doesn't mean they're not going to be good in the role. D is he a skinny, ugly motherfucker with big eyebrows and looks good in goatee? Yeah. Paint his ass red, Mephisto. It's fine. Just so don't you care. Are for it. Okay. I'm for it. I just don't like it. I think we could have gone Moon Knight. better. Moon Knight is for it, wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. Look, I... I don't know who that is. I asked Shane. I was like, that you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Moon Knight. yeah. Moon Knight's a first time commenter. Yeah, first Shane's time like, Moon no. <laughs> Shane's like, no. I would have come up with a better name. I was like, all right. Oh. <laughs> Not, he, he would have, he doesn't, he, he said his would have been like Murdoch and Sons or some nonsense. It's like, you fucking nerd. <laughs> so, and, and avocados yes, Beck, at law. Beck, I, I agree. The Rock should just play a bad guy. Just be a villain. Like, I feel like he'd be, make a good villain. Hasn't he been? Has he no. never been a bad guy Scorpion in a movie? Scorpion King. Not in film. Oh, yeah. Scorpion yeah, King, I, I guess, technically. Him. Sort of. That was but he was CG. Too. Yeah. But yeah, it, I think true. it's in his contract. He never wants to be a bad guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's some nonsense but he like kills that. I don't know. Sometimes no, I love look, when like a look. character I love can play a really good bad look, guy. The Rock can play a bad guy, which, but not... A bad guy, you know? He could be a bad guy. Not an evil guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm bad guy, but I'm not the bad guy. He's like Stan <laughs> Like, lawful evil, but never chaotic evil. Yes. Mm. Which is what Black Adam is. Like, uh, like Probably, yeah. No, no, I mean, like, I, as a comic book fan, Black Adam, no one gave two fucks about Black Adam until The Rock found out about him. That man, <laughs> one time in a book, literally ripped a man in two and then sat on him as a as a chair. Like, he was a terrible, terrible villain. <laughs> man, I wonder what clips they ripped out of it to make it hell. PG-13. I'm, I want to see the, the right I want to see the uncut, yeah. like, the uncut version no, of the it. R cut. Speaking of speaking of uncut versions, did you hear that David Ayer apparently is trying to get that Suicide Squad again? Yeah, um, I read something about it the other day. They were saying like some reviewer was like, "Nah, I saw it. It's uh real long. It's the same. It's though. a different movie. Oh, is and it? the Joker's oh. the bad guy. He's okay. like, but it's still not good. <laughs> it's like, oh. of course not. Like, yeah." <laughs> I thought I heard somewhere that like the air cut really does not add anything, and it, like it's it's not a better movie by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, it's add more Joker in it, but I'm yeah. like I don't want to see that Joker. Like, <laughs> admittedly, the Scott Snyder cut is a better of version League. of Justice League yeah. for sure. It's still not like a great, compelling movie, and even if you took that and edited it back down, you're still not really much better than the original. And they should have like cut out the pretension of the black and white filter. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been that that'd have been. Nice. God, that man. Ugh. Um, so I have, mm -hmm. I have a, a customer um, yeah. who is currently working on a Zack Snyder uh, product, oh. um, and. He has grown a uh, wield of a field of wheat because the movie has a scene in a field of wheat. Did I tell you this already, Anthony? No, no, but I've I've heard about movies doing this, okay. and it actually S saves a bunch of money. Well, well, this one did not, unfortunately. Remember uh, when Netflix hiked up your uh, your 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 annual fee, your yes. monthly fee? It's it was because of, Scott Snyder's. It was because field? of this movie. Yeah. So he built. Two, because you always build two in case something happens to the other one. And instead of just bringing in wheat or going to an actual wheat field out in the middle of somewhere else, because Kansas. he likes to drive his motorcycle from his house to set to go look at said wheat, they had to build it in California. Um, he had them bring down a weight set so that he could work out by the wheat. Like, he loves this wheat apparently and then the um, wheat's not even in the movie it's probably not very much in the movie i guess they're gonna burn it down in the scene in the movie or something but they're growing it from seedling to wheat which is taking months because wheat doesn't grow in a day yeah, <laughs> yeah but he wants to be able to work out near a field of gold and while yeah. listening to sting yeah apparently he likes to get up real early in the morning 
ride his motorcycle to set and do and look at his wheat. God, what a <laughs> fucking douchebag. <laughs> Hey, I get it. You know, sometimes you want to take a ride on your hog and just go down and enjoy the nature splendor. I mean, for legal purposes, allegedly. There, I said it. <laughs> there, we said it. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I, I was talking to this cat, and he was just like, we have so many camera issues because he's rented them all. <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, like, for what? It's wheat. <laughs> Is he doing a new Field of Dreams? No, he's doing some weird sci-fi movie for Netflix, which is supposed to be like his Star Wars or something is what he claimed it to be. And I'm like, well, you've already, you don't say stuff like that. Yeah. When, when you say, I'm going to make the next Star Wars, you're like, you've already failed at making the next Star yeah, Wars because you, you said that. Yeah, th isn't you that what Jupiter Ascending was supposed to be? Oh my God. I still haven't watched it. But Channing Tatum oh. is a half dog man. A half dog man. With rocket I remember... Boots. I went to the rev I went to this the the press screening with my friend Adrian and something happened during the movie it was dead silence and she could not contain it and she just goes what the fuck like really <laughs> she just audibly said it and like it, every reviewer was just like yep <laughs> <laughs> oh god The other one I disliked was that Valerian yeah, the city I of still haven't watched that one A million stars Terrible. Just I still terrible. haven't watched that one. Thousand stars? It was kind of cool to watch. I haven't seen sure. it. Sure. I'm also not a huge fan of Dane DeHaan. So. Or the other bitch. I hate her too. Or Cara Delevingne. Cara no, Delevingne. Cara yeah. Delevingne. She's another help. one. I, I look at her help. and I just, I'm like, you're a problem. And you've been vocal about how much of a problem you are. And you still are a problem. And you don't get help. And that bothers me. Although I did like her in Only yeah. Murders part, uh, Season 2. Fuck yeah, she was good in that shit. But I still hate her. It. She was good in it. <laughs> Never seen her it. problem, her biggest problem is um she insists upon uh, herself. No, is is uh Margot Robbie exists. Mm. And so everyone forgets that Cara Delevingne exists. I forget. I like exists. Margot Robbie. I Margot do Robbie's like Margot great. Robbie. She's, She's very the, talented. She is the more talented and put together Cara Delevingne. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my brother has a sugar skull type of tattoo on his leg, and the face model is Margot Robbie. Oh, I was sure. hoping you'd say it says I hate Cara Delevingne. <laughs> <laughs> just because old. Okay. He's just like I really dislike this woman. <laughs> I, I, I really like that that piece that Nile has though because it's it's uh, a female face, another one, and then the third one is, is of Hero. So. Oh yeah. Aww. Like done, done in the sugar Heroes skull style. done in the sugar yeah. skull oh, style sugar skull tattoo. Hero? Yeah, yeah Aww. it's really yeah. cute. I think I <laughs> cried a... when I saw it. That's sweet. It's really sweet. I want Margot Robbie and Anya Taylor Joy to be in a movie. Oh my God, yes! I want, I, I want like that Anya movie. Anya Taylor Joy. They should be the pirate sisters in that pirates movie that we they yes. keep saying we're gonna get. It's never gonna happen. Yes, Pirates Two: Stagnetti's Revenge. I would love to see Margot Robbie and Anya Taylor Joy in that. Isn't that the guy who runs the the like weird puppet show on Pleasure Island? Uh, what? Huh? Just trying, just trying to, just trying out my Pokio and Pinocchio humor. Uh, I didn't like it. My bad. <laughs> it, it, it's <laughs> it's okay. I dropped a porn reference. <laughs> oh. That's oh the fuck! That, is, <laughs> that was the pirate's that name. The pirates. <laughs> That is true. Listen, we, we all watched that, right? It was the most expensive porn ever made. It, like, was, how... it was actually pretty good looking. I've never times. seen it, but I've heard. I'm, I'm, I missed everything. What are we talking about? Nothing. It was a, a pirate's porn. Remember the porn that like they the, the most managed expensive to cut? Porn ever made. They cut down to an R rating so they could put into Blockbuster. Yeah, and they they. I remember, I remember like half of an entire wall of that. Yeah, because there, there's At a cut where they just, they just cut out all of the porn parts of it, and it's just the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like a well acted one, N porn level. No. <laughs> okay, porn 2000, level. Two thousand, two thousand, two thousand one. This is a pre nine eleven era. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we we unlock the new of, memory of porn for Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, did, did the towers falling make people bad actors in porn? Like I'm confused by that statement. No, yeah, some porn changed. movies are weird. That day, yeah. 
Never forget. <laughs> Sperminator was it. weird. <laughs> like there was, there's like a sudden edge to every scene after that. Because Pirates 2, totally different movie. Released 2002. I mean, I did think it was weird when Davy Jones had to get rid of that, you know, plane scene. It was... <laughs> When they had to cut out the two the two towers out of the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it weird? Like, I I don't know if we could talk about this. Is it weird to see like the towers in old in older movies? Is it, it is. strike anyone as like, oh okay. yeah. I, I yeah, I think it's weird only because when you see them, your first instinct is to go, Oh, that's right. Those They're aren't there, there anymore, anymore because of bad things. Yeah. Um recently I took a photo and put it on my Instagram because, you know, I always Instagram what movies we're watching during our spooky month of watching movies, yeah. right? So we watched that 1989 uh, Robert England Phantom of the Opera the other day, which I had forgotten starts in 1989 modern New York and then goes back in time. And the first shot is the Twin Towers and it oh. says Phantom of the Opera. And I took a snapshot and I put it on my Instagram and I was like, I hope no one says anything weird. Like, I was, oh. I didn't want that, like, oh... Yeah. R.I.P. Really, remember or some nonsense. I mean, like, yeah. get that shit off my screen. <laughs> What's yeah. really weird is if you go back far enough into the 80s, there was a bombing there. So sometimes yeah. something references a bombing and you're like, oh, wait, but that's not this other thing that we all know way more oh, uh, yeah. personally. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Like, um, it was a target many, many times <laughs> that we probably not even privy to information publicly probably. before the big thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, remember, the Wiz had it as his home base in the Emerald City. Oh. A lot of bad things have happened to it before that. <laughs> big thing. Hmm. So, I mean, oh. facts are well, facts, I'm just saying. I guess there's no transitioning off of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so. going to say what scary things you guys are planning to watch. Yeah, what scary uh, things are you guys planning to watch? I've been I still have the second half of the Conjuring movies to go through. I still you sh you're down to like the last two. I still want to rewatch like three or one. four left. I'm halfway through. We should pick like one you, of the what? old movies and rewatch it. Which ones are you got left? Like Conjuring like one, two, Conjuring and three. I got Conjuring City two and three. Like just okay. one of them because we haven't plus seen it in a while. Plus Annabelle plus La Llorona. La Llorona. That's like the most recent one. Out of you that, have to I've watched. look. I couldn't say La Llorona for the longest time, La and then Llorona. Kathy told me you got to remember, give it that uh, my Sharona, and that's how I now know how to La say La it because I go La, La Llorona. I got five more movies to watch. Beck, how is Smile? I hear no, it's I great. To watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's on my list. Yeah, uh, uh, the I'm boys have, won't shut the fuck up about it. So. I also want to watch. What is it? They live in our. They live they, in our house. They live in our house. I wanted to watch that, it's too. It's on Netflix. Uh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. I added it to Did my you? list. I wanted to watch that. Which we need to watch have that you, tonight. Hmm? Have you watched that trailer for the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, A Knock in the Cabin Door? Yes. Not yet. Yes. That Jesus looks, Christ. That looks... The oh boy. fuck is happening in that goddamn movie? Anthony, you need to watch that trailer. We'll Batista watch looks that so trailer. goddamn scary. <laughs> I was oh, like... I've never it's, seen it's, it. it's like... Um, Dave Batista and Ron Weasley are bad guys in it. Yeah. I was like, that's yeah. a combo. Yeah, Rupert Grint is there. Oh, <laughs> like, I liked that. And he cool. got fucking jacked. I was like, did you find out you were in a movie with Batista and figured you should work out a little bit? I mean, I, <laughs> it I, I, feels I, I, like, I would. <laughs> it feels like nobody really knows what to do with Batista other than like make him the muscle, the muscly guy. Oh, no, he's the bad guy in it, though. Yeah, yeah should, it's not it. muscly. Like, he's no, very yeah. like, like, very soft spoken, and that makes yeah. him way more menacing. Yeah. But it's weird because even in in Blade Runner twenty forty whatever, yeah, like he is the soft spoken guy. But the thing is, is like he's still Batista. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. it just it just is a juxtaposition of whatever they're trying to do with him that isn't him being Batista. But yeah, but he was good in that Blade Runner. Scene. He was, was really he was good. It, was really it's good. just he, his physique is so off putting. Well, I mean, look at The Rock. Not yeah. to go back to The Rock, but like, sure. but The Rock, he's doing, too big. But like, he keeps doing those roles where too big works for the. No, role. no, but, I, but even when he plays like a dad, you're just I, like, I still right, really want, when, I still really dad? want a movie oh, okay, starring The Rock, Batista, and John Cena, all who are former professional wrestlers and now they live normal <laughs> lives, but then they have to go and like rescue somebody. 
Look, I have been wanting to see a Hemsworth road trip movie for years. All three brothers have to go get something across the United States and they get comedy shenanigans ensue. Are they playing themselves? Three Men and a Baby the remake oh my, with Batista, The Rock, the Rock and John Cena. Cena. That would be amazing. Yes. <laughs> Take my money. Take um, my money. I Unfortunately, I think I may have to break it. I think a Three Men and the Baby remake for Disney Plus is filming or has already been filmed. And I do know Zac Efron, I think, is the lead in it. I'm fine mm. with Jack Efron being in it. Does it still have the, like, drug... Uh, uh, underplot. Probably not at this point. <laughs> That's right. There was a drug under. The, yeah, the plot turns into like the baby had drugs in the diaper. <laughs> it gets wild in that movie. It's got like a it's kilo a of coke time. in the basket or some shit. Yeah, like the the, the, the girl didn't know. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Who's the next WWE star to turn a uh, big time actor? Probably Roman. He wants to do it. Sasha or Roman, they want to try and be actors next. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's the easy I mean, answer. I mean, Sasha was in Mando, too. so... Yeah, but she wasn't given a lot to do in that show, so I can't judge her on her full acting ability in that, because when she did say her, like, three lines, they weren't great. Yeah, that's true. But she's just tipping yeah. a show, you know? Sure. The Rock did some bit parts before he started being cast in movies as the lead. Remember, uh, uh... What was that movie called? The Rundown. Remember The Rundown? Yeah, I do. I, the Rock. I enjoyed that movie because he rock bottomed somebody in the first 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he knows and, what the people came to see. And then he shoulder tackles a goddamn pillar in midair. <laughs> and then takes um, a shotgun am... and sharpshoots five guys. <laughs> let me, let me, no, let me I thought you. it was great in the Hobbs and Shaw movie where Reigns gets to do his two moves. Oh, yeah. Like oh, he yeah. does the ooh which randomly has no place in the fight scene, <laughs> and then spears a motherfucker, and you're like, "Yeah, you only got to do that because you do that." Yeah, yeah. Like, it makes and, no sense. Motherfucker created, had no lines, and they created a scenario where no one's using guns for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to make them all wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> Can I enjoy well, that well, movie? Well, I think I think this is solid. Sami Zayn in a in a run of comedy films. Sure, as long as he cuts his hair. <laughs> a little too <laughs> wild for you? I mean, he looked like uh, Scruffy Jesus. <laughs> I would like him to get his beard trimmed uh, and a decent haircut. But yeah. I think he's I think he's really good at what he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're doing shit. And I think he's got the talent to do like a good run of like mediocre f- comedy films. Like that WWE level, like the Marine level uh, of filmmaking. I, we watched clips one oh, night of the yeah. Marine with Becky Lynch in it, and you were just like, oh. Wait, what number is the Marine on now? Five? I, who knows? I know five. that Becky was one of the bad guys in one of them, and I was like, all right, you're. I, I think with a good director and writing, you could probably be a decent actress. This isn't the vehicle for you to, to showcase, but. <laughs> What is? I she, mean, the, she's the Miz is the star of those. You know? yeah. <laughs> she's she's funnier than they kind of let her be. She should be oh, doing yeah. that kind of like comedy thing. It makes me angry that she came back and then injured herself and she's gone again. I was like, bitch, you need to stop hurting your damn self. <laughs> mm. But she'll probably come back at the Rumble, though. That'd be cool. That, that her, and Char- that her and Char Char come back at the Rumble. Yeah, where's Charlotte been? She got married. She's doing she's doing married stuff. That was weeks ago, motherfucker. What are you saying? Good night, Jackie. Good night, Jackie. Right. Is that her Hi, new Jackie. name? Good night. All right. Uh, Rumble just... watch along. That would be fun. Yeah, I it was really man. fun when we did the games with Shane before. Yeah, just the, yeah. Just so, the drinking so, game. So, someone it, on it Discord uh, streaming it. We all watch together. And then we all have the numbers, and we pick our numbers. I'm, tell- I'm telling you, I... Yeah. I, I, it's so weird to me that if you had told me, Anthony, five years ago, <laughs> you're going to be a huge wrestling fan and the Rumble is the highlight of your January, I would have slapped the dick out your mouth. Like, I just would have been like, what the fuck are you talking about? And don't 10 years it. ago, that D&D would be like your favorite thing to do? Don't, don't talk to me like this. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> and, and, Maybe and, Anthony's right about some shit, yeah? And four and years if, ago, you'd be playing games on Twitch? <laughs> 
<laughs> that you like the misfits that was wild my favorite part about this when i sent you the picture of uh the gem group and i was like man the misfits are cool <laughs> you were mad <laughs> like... <laughs> there are some things that are that are holy <laughs> only some all right, you want to wrap this shit up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're we've cracked over two hours. I, I suppose we can we can uh, wrap it up next week. Last costume. Last yep. costume. Yes. Got to gotta go Leland, big if you haven't. Leland, are, are you going big next week? I'm gonna have to because I have to make it. So yeah, it was <laughs> honestly tonight was supposed to be next week's costume, and the scarecrow was supposed to be the big one. And after I got it all done tonight, I was like, nah, next week will be the big one. This wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. <laughs> Beck, you're going to be down here. We're going to have so much fun next weekend. Now, yeah. Jordan, Jordan. Yes. Yes. now I know you've already seen it because I sent you the picture today yes. of next week's coming soon art, which is eh, fine. You might get another one this week if I feel it to, to draw something else. Okay. That only came up that specific idea was because when I put you and Steph in there, I was a hundred percent convinced you guys were gonna do that this year for Halloween. <laughs> I see it. You have to wait. Okay. I was like, nah, them two bitches are gonna do this, and I want to draw it before they do it. <laughs> Which, don't worry, audience. That, I don't know what they're talking about either. That, no, so you can't know until next week. Yeah. I don't know either, it's, and it's right next. Apparently, it nobody can. But we'll talk about a, it. It would have been amazing, though. It would have been, and the fact that I had draw it before you did it, oh, psychic. That would have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are what picture All are we right. talking about? Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> Thank you guys. Right. And as I said, I might draw something else. I had another inspiration today. <laughs> this has been L O R C Nights. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your time here with us, as because we've enjoyed time with each other. Uh, Valid. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back next week, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on twitch.tv slash LRC podcast uh, for the next episode of the LRC podcast and the final episode of the October shows. Yeah. What costumes will we wear? You will have to tune in and find out with the rest of us. Um,. We're gonna try to do community day today, uh, this week, and community and co-op Thursday. Yeah. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to do co-op Thursday. We're gonna try we'll to do co-op Thursday goes. this week. Uh, Look, if Sunday don't happen because we is we is dead dead ass tired from the night before, meh. Yeah, okay. we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll play it by yeah. ear. <laughs> if not, find me on Overwatch too. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. It's not that hard to get in now. Oh. No, no, I we're having trouble over here. Uh, oh, with your setup I still? Oh yeah. No. Uh, oh yeah. I'll tell you that in a minute. It's great. Yeah, I, I was able to log in on my Switch and all my stuff was there, so that's good news, I guess. Okay. Nah, it's it's real bad. <laughs> that sucks. Me and Blizzard uh, have been going back and forth for the last two weeks. Oh no. Mm. Blizzard support. Mm -mm. Get Thank you guys. <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.